<sighs> so, welcome to Lawful Stupid RPG. Today, we are going deep into space into unknown territories to see what lies beyond the famous space station Babylon 5. And what our brave uh, heroes are up to. So, we have uh, four players with us. I am Wusse, I will be acting as the GM for the day. And aside of me, there will be Wesley Zadora, played by Wimsy. And Femi Dran, who will be played by none other than Zimmy Boy, or Zimmy. Uh, Noah Malone, portrayed by Spooky. And finally, our token alien, Landas, placed by the guy from the most alien place we could find, Ireland. And Scotland. That Sc uh, Scotland? What? Is there a difference? <laughs> Not really. Fair enough. Now I have insulted two people, so <clears throat> we can get this game started, shall we? Alright. Uh, Scottish viewership's just tanked. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that may, that's a good point. So, uh, you're not watching this anyway, you're in it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, so, as we have made ourselves into a nice little cozy party, we shall start as your ship, your little shuttle that has been taking you away from the space station at Mars Colony. Heading towards the local uh, local <coughs> shipyard, as into the view carves the beautiful sa beautiful shape of Yakanda, which is the ship with its rotating front half spinning in the night to give it the much needed gravity to hold you on its onto its surface. The other half staying perfectly still, holding up the great big solar panels and the, so, uh, and the mountings for the solar sails. And as you pass closer towards the hangar bay, you can see through the large windows of its luxurious main residence, the hardwood flooring that would welcome you into its embrace. And, you, and as your ship docks to your, as your shuttle shops, docks into your ship, who is the first one to exit? Wesley will, will exit onto his ship, talking all the while about it, like a proud yacht owner. Look at her, she's a beaut, she's 200 tons of pure pleasure ship, you know. The family got her some time ago, and I'm sure you'll all enjoy your stay aboard. And how would you, uh, how would you describe Wesley for our audience? Okay, Wesley is, is, is the worst product of sort of a top university family entitlement and then careerism sort of rolled into the status of uh, a nominal war hero which he milks for all it's worth. So he's a short man, uh, brown hair, brown eyes, the sort of tan you get from a luxurious holiday, complete with an eye patch and a sharp suit. So, uh, all in all, the complete package of a pleasure yacht captain. And who is who is the next one to follow the ship owner's <clears throat> entrance to the vessel? That would be me. Although, human male walks out. First thing you notice. It's an absolute bald head, nice and shiny. Bald as a female Centauri. Face and body, the second thing you notice. Big like one of those old-timey wrestlers from the U.S. of A. Sporting a nice little blue and gray uniform. The third thing you notice as I step out and greet y'all is the weathered, beaten, but well-maintained cowboy boots. Yep, she's a beauty, Wes. We're gonna do some great things with this. 
I intend so. As, as you two make it deeper into him, the other two deddle uh, outside, uh, still, still awing at the ship's splendor and how magnificent it is, you are greeted by your local, uh, local work crew, uh, the hired hands you helped to renovate the ship, uh, which would be the, uh, the unusual pairing of a centauri and a nun. This, uh, these two, cre uh, these two uh, aliens to human eyes, uh, seemingly getting along uh, fabulously, considering they are not killing each other on sight, uh, <clears throat> uh, smile. Uh, one, uh, the non verily, and the and the lady centauri with he, with her beautiful face and bald head, except for the. Uh, for the stylish ponytail, which is in vogue with the Centauri court at the moment. She smiles warmly, widely, walking, to walking towards Wesley with her arms open as the, uh, as the eloquently tailored dress uh, em emphasizes her, her form. Ah, you are back! Welcome to the ship! I hope you will find it satisfactory! And she attempts to give uh, uh, Wesley a hug. Wesley's very tentative about this. He puts on his best sort of uh, officer's face that yes, one must uh, one must be good to one's crew and uh, embrace other cultures, but he's, he's not comfortable with it. Just right. the, the gentle pat, pat on the back. Just like that. Right. As, uh, as she hugs, it is it is a courteous uh, courteous hug, m more suited for the nobility. Just a gentle pat pat on the back as well as she steps steps back and uh, then then smi smiles to the uh, co uh, <coughs> marine companion and nods nods in affirmation. As it, as this is a lower rank individual, a hug is not required and merely smiles. Uh, welcome to you as well. Uh, was it uh, was it the commander? Colonel Malone. Ah yes. Uh, the ship is ready for your inspection. We have done uh, great work work with it. Uh, you will find fur in the sensory department. It is the only thing he would ever work on, uh, which is most annoying. Uh, however. I will. Uh, I will hope it is indeed satisfactory, uh, especially your quarters, Master Wesley. And she she steps aside, letting you two through. Uh, the non, having stayed silent for this time, merely rolls his eyes at the centauri's uh, blatant uh, askissery and just grabs like, "It's working all right." And <clears throat> after that. Uh, we get our two other passengers, and the pilot himself being the last to exit, but telepath. Oh well. Uh, <clears throat> How public is this knowledge? How many people do of this party know of your abilities? Uh, at least two of them know. Just due to work obligations, but uh, you see uh, Femi walk out, he kind of walks out, looks around, lights a cigarette, uh, dark skinned man, average height, uh, very uh, well groomed goatee. He has this very just tired look about him. And he kind of just, you know, takes a drag on his uh, cigarette and just looks around and says, Is there a bar on this ship? Yes, there is a very well-stocked bar on the ship. Down the left, then your second right. All right. The good spirits are in the bottom shelf. If you need me, I'll be in the bar. And he just like starts walking towards the bar. Same old friend. Same old friend. Right. 
Uh, afterwards comes the final member of the crew, uh, the one who had the unfortunate duty of handling the parking arrangements of the shuttle and making sure it does not slip out into the space as, uh, as you engage the main engines of your main vessel. And I look around and then my eyes just suddenly alight on this entire female that is there in front of me. And I go, ah, some beauty of civilization in front of me. And then my eyes go to the Narn and go, and also some barity, barbarism of the galaxy in front of me. Uh. I believe you are my crewmates. Landis Cortas at your service. Ah, what a pleasure to meet a fellow gentleman of the proper species. She, uh, the Centauri lady walks forward to give a proper courtly, uh, courtly curtsy towards you, uh, smiling. And Miana of the House of Vesa, at your very service, master. You have the bearing of a warrior. How enticing. <clears throat> uh, the non, on the other hand, just smirks and says, eh, when, you need, when you need the engine to run, nothing beats a good kick. <laughs> a savage, barbarous kick. Something you said that I never learned. <clears throat> technology that works, so entire technology works a wee bit differently, I have found. Yeah, it's considering most of ours is improved upon yours. Hmm. You say improved, <laughs> you say despoiled. But I think we can agree to disagree, don't you think? Mm. Yes, we can agree to disagree my world, yes. <clears throat> However, let us not dwell on the past and look at the future before somebody gets killed. Yeah, there's no need to... There's enough money for all of us here, I believe. There's no need for us to stir up the past, as you said. Yes, as long as the paycheck is steady, I'll be happy and smiling. He, he now bows, uh, just just the gentle nod of the head sort of bow which just says, I acknowledge the old Centauri tradition where the Centauri would greet a slave non back in the day. However, he's reversing the situation back and saying, <laughs> if, you, uh, if you need me, I will be in the engine room. <laughs> Uh, he, he, as, as he leaves, uh, Miana sighs and says, oh, This slave, it is most uh, annoying sort of person. He's thinking of like a free person. Uh, well, our leaders say they are free. Hmm. And that is the way of the galaxy, unfortunately. Hmm. Meanwhile, as Wesley, Wesley makes it to his personal hardwood cover, uh, covered room, the one with all the trimmings and shiny bits, uh, there is a call coming through the local, local communications device. Uh, you, ba you barely had your time, time to get acclimated uh, and already it's saying, incoming message from Centauri Prime. Uh, yeah, okay, Wesley, he, he, he picks up the intercom in one hand and his gin and tonic from the private bar where he keeps the best stuff in the other, and he goes, Captain Store, speaking. Ah, oh, you sound different, Landas. What the, uh, why didn't you answer immediately? Who is this? It is your wife, you silly. Uh, speak to me in a proper mas uh, manner. Uh. That this is hardly appropriate for a noble of your standing. Two seconds, madam. 
switches over to the intercom and goes, Lehanders! Uh, I, I, I'm just like going, oh no, excuse me, madam. I just sidled up to, uh, is this the intercom? Oh, yes, okay. Yes, uh, Landers here, how can I help? There's someone on the phone for you, Landers! Who, who would be calling myself at the moment? Do you have a wife? Oh, uh, oh, Adriana, oh, okay. Yeah, she's calling. Yeah, um, where are you? I, I, I think it might be best for me to take this. I am in my, st I'm in my stateroom, having a drink. You come in. I will leave the two of you to it. Uh, yes, madam. Yes, he's just coming. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll be here. Uh, I'm sorry, my dear. Uh, where is Wesley's stateroom? There. Ah, the state room is this way, if you please. Thank you. Thank and uh, with, a flow, uh, with a spring in her step, she prances towards the proper direction, leading you to the room where an irate sound is coming through the communications device, device insisting on where, he, where her husband is, where, uh, husband is, all the while not, not appreciating on being, being on hold, it appears. I'm assuming she is she like on Wesley? Is she like on a screen or is that like a handheld communication? Yeah, it's like a handheld one. It's sort of old-fashioned. He likes those sort of old-style touches and makes right. it feel sort of historic. Oh. You of well, course have a view screen. And, and sort of departs. Yeah. Um, on like in hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Uh, Wesley, is it possible you can put this on to a screen instead? Yeah, okay, he stabs a couple of buttons. I, I assume this is not like a DVD player where you need like a whole menu. In the future yeah. we have like... You can you, know, you can use a voice command if you please, or they could be just on a button. Screen. On, on screen. <laughs> Skedaddles out of you. Yeah, uh, as the screen flickers on, uh, it shows Ariana in all her splendor, which is most of your money uh, in cloth forms. <laughs> About time, there was some brood person saying that he, uh, say, uh, pretending to be you, claiming to be the captain of the ship. Oh, no, no, um, he's the steward, my darling. He's you should fire him immediately. You should not yeah, tolerate I'm this sure. from your servants. These humans, my dear. So you're... They're pretentious, they're you're, pretentious, but they so, have money. So you finally, finally are taking my call. I've been trying to call you for days now on your ship, but you've not been answering. Just some, some nod picking up the phone and saying, he's not here. Since, since when did you get a slave? Um, I picked him up, uh, my dear. Um, well, he, he's needing to be a house tree. That's the issue. Uh, anyway, anyway, that's not what I what I was calling. Uh, uh, I need you to pick up uh, pick up my brother. He's head heading for some human station out in the space. It's called some 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 uh, some Dabalon or something, Babylon, something like that. Uh, you need to take him there well, at once. I'm picking up your brother, Fear. Why? Because he got a job there. They made him part of the ambassadorial staff. It's a good big promotion for him. Yeah, you see, we need to make it proper. He can't go in just normal shuttle. It is his first day. What sort of impression does, he, does it make if he does not arrive on a personal transportation? Instead, some liner from Centauri Prime. Uh, we need to make a good impression. Yes? I'm, I'm assuming your uncle. Admiral Murray is making this a personal request, isn't he? I am making this a personal request. Ah, right. On behalf of my family? Of course. And I assume my father is also extending the same sort of greetings. Your grandfather is. Your father is uh, out hunting again. Is that a 
just not gonna worry. He's gonna be working out there, I believe. <gasps> you know, you you have studied well the ambassadorial things. But yes, uh, handle it immediately. We will be waiting for you in Centauri Prime. Uh, and say hello to your uh, sir. Uh, say hello for me to your servant before, uh, when you kick him out for a uh, horrible behavior. Toodles, starling. And of course, I love it. And he, she, as she closes closes it, uh, we're gonna have a five minute break because we apparently are having issues with the audio. I hear. So uh, we're gonna fix that and be back as soon as we are done fixing it. Thank you for being around and a moment. Okay, uh, is this better now? Hopefully it's better now. Uh, Half an hour. Okay. <clears throat> First time streaming blues. That's how it yeah. goes, folks. <laughs> well, um, right. So, the phone call closes, leaving uh, leaving Landa staring at the screensaver, uh, which is, uh, in Wesley style, something classic, like a... It will be a oil painting, a classic oil painting from Earth history. He's always fancied himself something of a historian, but he doesn't have very much in the way of taste. So, so probably know, sailing ships. I, yeah, a sailing yeah. ship, something about some, uh, switching to something about Botticelli at some point. Also. Just, just random classics thrown into the mix. Yeah. I, I'm just going to walk out and just like double check to see if actual uh, Wesley's there waiting outside if he isn't I'm going to go back in for a moment and actually peruse the bar <laughs> Wesley actually... is standing outside just, just, just steadily steadily drinking and looking at his expensive Rolex space right. Rolex you know. Do, do you actually see me open the door? That's the thing. I want to see if you actually pay the attention. There. Prob probably not. <laughs> Alright. What I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go to the bar. I actually find probably the most expensive alcohol I can find. <laughs> or what I think is the most expensive alcohol. I don't know what human beverages that much. I feel like... Hmm. Nah. What's this? Whiskey. Halt. Hmm. Uh, they say fingers. Oh, just fill it up. Um, um, um. I better be polite. Grab a second one for Wesley. Um, um, um. Methylated. What's this? <laughs> it must be good. Just, just go out and go, right, to us. And I hand you the, the other drink. <laughs> there. Yes, to us. Uh, clink. I, so, I, I have got us a job. Go on. My... My brother-in-law, he, he, he's a bit special, but he's beloved in the family. You know, he, he doesn't mean any harm, but he's actually got himself a job um, at that station of yours at Babylon 5. And he's going to be working for the ambassador. So, of course, the family, there are... We don't want to embarrass the ambassador by having them arrive on just a lowly shuttle. They have decided that, as I do have shares in the ship there, if we make a show of it there, the family will be happy. This entire republic will be happy at the same time. And of course, it will gain us connections there. Your family remind me the uncle and me, the admirality. They'd be oh. willing to, of course, compensate us for our time in assisting this diplomatic mission. Well, my Correct? My, my grandfather, the admiral, also, he, and 
my uh, my uncle in law have kind of expressed that any help that we do, while it might not be directly repaid immediately, might lead to f favors further on. You know how it is there. You know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine there. It, this is how we entirely do it. And these are, of course, men. You do not disappoint there. Well, here's to our close allies, the Centauri. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a struggle to keep it down. I'm not, I'm not sure what you mix, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a few things there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, um... Just one problem, Wesley. You might want to change your hairstyle a wee bit there. Maybe shave it all off, potentially, or, or dye it. My, my wife kind of took a disliking to you, and it's just better if she doesn't recognize that it was you that answered the call there. She might, you know what women are like, they make a scene there. Why does, why does your wife have my private number, by the way? Um, I may have accidentally have given her the wrong number there. Hmm. Well, that's no problem, you know, uh, considering the favor that you're doing me, uh, something I could overlook. Uh, do you think a side parting will do it? Or... A side parting. My barber cost a lot last month. Yeah. Yeah, just maybe diet a wee bit, grow a tea. Us Santara, we do have trouble, um, especially the way you wear your facial hair and all that. We have difficulty making out the lot of you sometimes there. Are you saying that us humans all look alike? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm no, not prepared no. to say that. It's just. There's just certain styles that just throw us off. We spend more time looking at the hairstyle, and we don't actually look at the face there. Maybe a pencil-thin moustache? Yeah, maybe. 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 Uh, I, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll continue discussing human fashion choices. Um, yes. Yes. Either that or just dre dress less obstetentiously, maybe. I mean, while you are discussing options for various dress code violations and <coughs> other sorts of <coughs> manners to distract uh, Landis's dear wife, uh, uh, the other other two in the party are also up to no good. I mean, also inspecting the ship in the various departments. I am sure that our soldier is more more than interested in finding out how the weapon systems have integrated with the old ship's support systems. Hmm. Laser turrets, controls, stalked ammo, all the way up, energy up. Yes, Looks good. Exactly. The old observation dome that used to be somewhere, uh, used to be near the. <clears throat> In, in the, near the luxurious state room, uh, where you can actually hear portions of the discussions from the from the main room, uh, have been converted into a gun battery with a state of the art false cannon. Uh, it's uh, it's so new; it still has f a few of those plastic wrappers holding the sheen in. <laughs> Nobody has dared to remove them in case you would desire the pleasure yourself. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get our chance to test these out soon enough. Yeah, indeed. Uh, since they are connected to the power grids of the machine, their ammunition stockpile is essentially unlimited. Nice. Uh, as long as you still have fuel on your ship. <laughs> uh, on that, uh, that note, uh, what is our uh, uh, commercially available uh, median doing? <laughs> Premier, you with me? No, I'm in the bar. I'm sitting here counting all the bottles of alcohol. Like, this is not going to be enough. 
<laughs> Especially if Landis talks to me. So, I like, <laughs> I just like, pour like a very, very big glass of whatever is available. And then I go, I go like walk towards the flight deck. Cause, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the bridge, you mean? The bridge? Yeah. The bridge. Yes, on the bridge, you meet your third, uh, uh, the third crew member who has been staying on board the ship, overseeing the. Uh, modifications to the systems. Uh, this one would be Fur, the uh, other, uh, other, the third centauri on the ship, making them the uh, third, uh, the second most numerous uh, species on the ship. Well, tied with humans, in fact. Uh, <clears throat> Fur uh, gazes up from the sensors console, looking up towards. Ah, uh, you, uh, you have uh, returned. Uh, I did not expect your return in a couple of days. Uh, 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 are we getting ready to leave then? Uh, the oh, the Ill, uh, the middle-aged Centauri asks. His hair, much shorter than uh, shorter than Landis's, uh, designating a lower status among uh, the species. I just like take a like big like swig of what I, what I'm drinking. I'm like, I'm assuming we're gonna end up going somewhere. S- Sometime, but we might as well get ready. And I like, you want a drink? Oh, oh no, no, not while I'm doing research. Uh, the alcohol, it's uh, um, yeah, I, I know it is, uh, uh it, it is, uh, it is one of my one of my failings as a, as a centauri. I cannot take much alcohol while I'm working. Uh, it's why one of my indulgences not to take any, so uh. But uh, but perhaps uh, perhaps when we have visitors, I will imbibe uh, with you. <clears throat> I'm just letting you know that Landis is on board, and you might want to take a drink. Ah, uh, the gentleman, gentleman has arrived as well. Uh, yeah. uh, well, now uh, is everyone a present? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, that is. Uh, uh, that is good. And then again, I should be paying attention to the sensors more often. Uh, well, but the, there was this uh, really fascinating, um, uh, fascinating solar flare coming from the from the sun, and uh, the magnitude of it is comparably so large to your planet that it was. Uh, and he dr- uh, begins to drone on about his scientific research into phenomena uh, involving space and other other facets of the. Uh, of the industry. Yeah, I tone them out and just start <laughs> getting the ship ready. <laughs> yes, and, and now that you have met the entire crew, um, crew, the uh, the ship is uh, ready in a matter of uh, a matter of an hour. It's uh, just going through the checklist, checking out what is good, uh, what is good and not. Uh, but overall, uh, the crew has done a magnificent job. Uh, there are no warning signs anywhere. Uh, uh, well, except the increased uh, power consumption by the sensor array, but that was to be expected considering who's next to you, abusing the generosity that you have given to him to use the sensors for his research. <coughs> uh, however, uh, as the ship rolls to ready, I suppose you are heading towards Centauri Prime. Yeah, uh, we gotta go pick up this guy, don't we? Yes, uh, Right, so uh, how about uh, whoever is piloting uh, proceeds to give me a roll to see how well you detach from the dry dock. Sure, why not? <laughs> What's uh? So that's which the, precarious is that? Intellect. Uh, that would be dexterity. Well, dexterity. Oof. Piloting. Careful, ship for me. Don't don't scratch up the ship just yet. I think at this point, both me and Wesley have actually stumbled onto the observation, <laughs> onto the bridge there, you know, we've maybe had a wee bit to drink. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's a Wesley, can, Wesley can handle his alcohol, you know, he's, he's, he's a hardened member of middle management, so. <laughs> Not the way I'm mixing them. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Your body mass is a little larger. Yeah. 
So yes, uh, as, as you get the ship ready, uh, the, uh, the departure from the uh, from the stage uh, from the tritok uh, goes without a hitch. Uh, it is a uh, it is a rather straightforward job of going going straight forward. The only penalty you having is the uh, number of drinks you've had so far before attempting this man uh, this dangerous maneuver. Uh, luckily, though, uh, it's still in its early phases of affecting you, and you manage to uh, scout your way out and towards the. Great, uh, uh, towards the great jump gates, waiting nearby the Mars, uh, Mars colony. Uh, as you approach them, uh, a standard greeting comes uh, comes through, uh, through asking for payment to be authorized uh, for engagement of the uh, power units of the jump gate to allow you passage to hyperspace. And the charge is apparently 500 credits, uh, do you wish to accept this charge? Just a cr crucial question. Have we actually collected our package or do we need to go somewhere and then collect them? It would be a shame to leave them behind. No, nope. don't worry, Wesley. We're having to go to Centauri Prime. We have nothing. Well, to go. All right, you, Wesley. you read the bed. Just I call call Wesley like, yeah. I call Wesley like, hey. They need your bank book. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. He sort of casually, casually just sort of tosses it. <laughs> I, know, I know what the balance is. So. Right. Uh, the payment of 500 credits is uh, ac accepted without a fuss. And uh, and uh, and the great, right, uh, the great portals, uh, the four pylons spread up, spread up. And the light creating creating a vortex of yellow and orange. Uh, no, wait, blue. Uh, yep, blue is the one. Uh, blue, the color that is sucking you in to the vortex. Vortex, and you find yourselves in a great mass of red and black surroundings at the hyperspace that will take you towards. Uh, the World Center Prime, and as you make it to the hyperspace, Fear takes his position at the astrogation unit and fiddles around with it, doing up some calculations and says, All right, that's ready. We got the course set. Uh, unless there is a problem, unless there is a problem, uh, we should be in Centauri Prime in a manner of uh, six days. If her. Uh... How many uh, jump gates we're going through then? Uh, it should be uh, uh, two jump gates. Uh, we have to drop out at Epsilon Eridani and get out on the other side of the system. And uh, from there on, it should be smooth sailing all the way to Center Prime. All right then. Thanks. What a worry. Uh, now, if I can, uh, uh, hyperspace, uh, it is so dull, it's all the same, but it's, mm, it's a little bit different, but, uh, the researchers would like to research this, it's a, well, it's a side hobby, I give to other researchers uh, some data from the sensor arrays, but this, uh, this isn't the fun stuff, I like planets, and nebulae, and other stuff in real space, that is magnificent. <coughs> I'm just like looking at the out of the window, and I'm just going, yeah. It's hyperspace has never sat right with me. It just looks too angry, T too much like a storm. There. Yeah, just like all the nouns, red and black spots all around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Though I think hyperspace. We can agree with the Narn, and in regards to the Narns, there, hyperspace is a lot safer. Yeah, I will not doubt that. Uh, I have heard of rumors from my fellow scientists that they have spotted actual life beings going around in hyperspace, without uh, without mechanical support structures to hold in oxygen or such. It is a uh, wild research. Uh, 
um, rumors just like uh, the earthlings called what is that um, dragon uh, was it duck <laughs> wait what now yes. there's dragons flying out in hyperspace is that what I'm hearing only if you believe in children's fairy tales <laughs> ah, it's, it's, old, it's old stories no uh, he we, we used to actually use these doors to scare the children to sleep. No one believes in them. They're, they, they're, they're fantasy. There. Yeah, well, I'm not scared of no dragons, real or, or not. I am sure you are not. You seem most uh, a strong and capable man. Yeah. Mm. So, um... Uh, who is in for a little game of uh, Ducati? <laughs> what what game? So say that again, man. Uh, who is in for a game of Ducati? It, it's our version of it. Uh, you, you haven't played? It's um, closest equivalent is poker for you humans. Oh, well, I'll play some poker. Oh, right. I'm in. Oh, wonderful. You, yes. I will bet. Uh, uh, I say mid move bet is two tickets, and uh, I will I will start with the dealing. Uh, uh -huh. And as you settle down to play the gambling associate, the time of the travel goes by rather smoothly until there is no random event. Okay. <laughs> sadness. <laughs> with all the sadness aside. Your ship arrives in the in, in, in the Centauri space in exactly six days. This making your journey lasting from 1st of January to 7th of January of 2258. In case anyone was wondering that. Mm -hmm. And as you uh, as you move move to the to the Centauri homeworld system, you see the plethora of the Centauri ships, sleek, uh, shiny, the plenty of crescent shapes in the shapes of the one of the Centauri moons, uh, f uh, flying a past with wings of ancient Im imperial glory, as you approach it, the uh, uh, the Centauri. Uh, uh, Centauri friend or foe system requires identifications, but since since you have uh, an experienced Centauri pilot with you, you your codes pass without a, without a hitch, and you make it to the local space station, where, uh, according to your information, you uh, you will have a company waiting for you, uh, which would be the a detachment ready to, uh, ready to uh, give you the ambassador to transport and indeed as you uh, as you dock your shuttle uh, by the way who uh, who gets on board of the shuttle going for the space station oh well, yeah it's probably uh, it's gonna definitely be landus there i have to be seen right mm. so yeah. uh, so I'm done up in my full dress, you know, you know, like, okay, I, I don't have any active service pips, but I've got the rest of the formal, you know, from worn on with my commendations there, what once I do have, and it's like, I'm just like tweaking out there, tweaking out there, <sighs> back at home, back at home. I don't think I've ever been here. Ah. Centauri Prime this far out. Ah, you do not know what you've missed. The the center of civilization. There. Beauty, art, culture. Ah. It looks like nothing I've ever seen at Earth anyways. This is quite strange and beautiful after all. Yes, indeed, my friend. Right, let's get our let's get the ship ready and get that brother-in-law of mine here. 
All right, let's do it. Nice. Uh, the, only the two of you are going. Yeah. Zadora will remain on the ship in order to avoid Landis's wife. He only met her very briefly, but... <laughs> You know, uh, I, I, um, I I kind of maybe suggest that I, I looked at how he had got his hair done and went, yeah, I do. <clears throat> yeah, Wesley, I think Ariana's going to spot it still here, there. Um, maybe it's an entire woman, very passionate. Just, no, let's let it not. Let's not get into that wrath of that sort of dragon, space dragon that is called Centauri Woman. Hood, um, just let her not see you in the first place. Yes, yes. Uh, nice talking to you. And I just walk off there, not letting Wesley have a word. Bremer, you come along too? <laughs> no, no. I'm staying on the ship. All right. Then. In her monologue, Femi's just like, uh, Centauri Minds, they're just, it's, it's too, it's too uh, pretentious for him. That's <laughs> I learned everything I need to know about the Centauri and the Mumbari War, you know? So it's me, Femi, and the Narn sort of commiserating together. Yeah. The Dujar in your non, non-mechanic comments that the only smart choice about Centauri Prime is to stay away from it. And he, he looks out of the window and apparently holds back spit. <laughs> You, you, you can almost hear the spit glance churning for more ammo. But <clears throat> the shot never comes and the shuttle instead glides by the observation window as it moves towards the, towards the space station. On the station, uh, it, it takes you about the moment the air, airlock opens for a cheery, sharp voice to greet you. Landas! Landas! It is so good to have you home! And who am I find myself in front of there? And uh, it, it is indeed your, your wife and her sister, uh, Sister ah. Morissette, of course, holding the hand, uh, hand of her brother, uh, uh, brother who is this stocky, uh, stocky, uh, um, stocky Centauri with the fid- fidgety, fidgety um, uh, hands and ner- nervous glances all around, and his hair up high, seeming like they've been stretched beyond their limits just to meet up with the hate standard uh, out, out of the rush, not having the time to grow up properly to the, uh, to the proper fan of ambassadorial worker. Uh, uh, worker and his outfit so out of character that it must have been made in the last 15 minutes <laughs> because it doesn't sit quite right yet it's been fl- uh, impeccably tailored for him yeah. no. so I, I, I see my wife I see my wife I see my family smile on my face I p- breathe all in and it's like straight my back up and I go beloved uh, husband and he come. Uh, she comes in, hugging and giving giving a kiss on the cheek. Uh, clearly, this would not happen at your home. But as you are in a public space station where there is more than enough people walking around to see it, uh, she go, goes with the traditional Centauri way of keeping up the facade. Uh-huh. And it's like I then uh, will. It's a shame that I have been so far away from home. I I will try and come back sooner. Ask in your glory. Ah, those are sweet words. They soothe my longing for you. As to your new rank and title as a captain of a human ship, it is uh, not often that Centauri gets this honor. Uh, of especially course. one who owns a ship of human design, uh, as uh, as crude as it is, but um, uh, but it is still better than no ship, which you had uh, in the navy. Mm-hmm. I, 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 my dear, I can understand it as crude, but at the same time, it does have its own charm. There, the the humans do make good ships. There, hopefully, 
I'll be able to make some upgrades that will make it a wee piece of home there. Ah! And of course, I then just quickly like make it look like I've just glanced for your brother-in-law. <laughs> uh, congratulations in order. Uh, hello, hello, Landas. Uh, 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 it is uh, it is good to meet meet you too. Uh, 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 so, uh, yeah, I, I'm so 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 sorry that you had to come all this way to get me. Uh, <sighs> It, it was not my idea. I, I could have taken the transport, no problem. Fear, 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 fear! Your uh, family! There's nothing to worry about. I would have done it. I could. Have, I would have fought for the darn regime to do this for you. No, don't worry about it. I am here for you, brother-in-law. Uh, uh, it, is, it is good to, good to have a royal family. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 but uh, but but still still it's uh, it's an imposition. Imp uh, I made I, I made sure that the uh, a diplomatic corps will uh, uh, will will uh, I will give you a stipend for this. So it's uh, oh. it's nothing nothing big. I couldn't afford, afford much, but uh, enough to cover your running costs. I hope. Uh, 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 shall we then get going? Uh, Landas. Uh, I see you changed your human servant. This one uh, seems much better. Uh, is quiet and is not speaking. And, uh, has the hair. Just right. Yeah, uh, Colonel Malone, nice to meet you. Oh, is that a... What is that rank? Is that a, like a, a slave or better? And, uh, it's a... Ariana, it's sex mil human military, my dear. Oh, uh, oh like a... Uh, like sergeant. Uh, we better sort of higher. like that, just a little bit better. Yeah, it's all be good, ma'am. I'll make sure to take care of your of your man here for you. Oh, I like this one. He, uh, he has a, a bearing of a bearing of a British warrior. Yes. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, well, uh, you're in good hands, 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 my brother. Uh, uh, I will, I will. Be so proud to see your picture when they post uh, po post it on the center news when you take your new position. Uh, but go along now. The, you, you must not tarry. Uh, the, we are already a, a day late because of your darkness. Uh, but uh, but you can make it up by being fast. Uh, Skrilla, Skrilla. Yes, uh, beloved, of course. Uh, um. Um, my sentiments and my greetings to our family, of course. Yes. Me meanwhile, you've been talking, of course, the uh, docking workers have loaded up a uh, uh, few belongings to the ship, which is essentially two briefcases, and uh, mm, that's about it. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, we, we're uh, yeah, quite, uh, quite humbly gets, on, gets on, the, on the shuttle, looks around, and like, eh, it's smaller than I thought, but this, uh, this, this should, this should, should do fine. Uh, 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 and uh, and he goes and takes one of the seats and uh, is ready ready to go whenever you want. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll just make sure and go right. I believe that is okay. <clears throat> so um, so as uh, as Noah gives gives his thanks to the lady, the lady lady smiles uh, smiles and uh, uh, gives a wink and says, "You're welcome anytime." Uh, and so on, and look, looking up and up and down the uh, robust form of the um, veteran marine, and uh, but uh, unfortunately for you, the any clandestine meeting will have to wait, as you do have a schedule and you're already behind. And the fact that I'm also here at the moment, Noah, uh, so <laughs> like that has uh, <clears throat> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ariana, I will allow your discre indiscretions, but remember, not in public. Oh, just for a friendly game. <laughs> of course, my dear. Of course. And uh, uh, and uh, as you as you make it out, the uh, considering you are in a polite state of drunkenness for a centauri, you have no issues flying flying the shuttle. Back and forth, as it is more nimble than the great big, uh, great big yacht that you use for your base ship. Uh, 
Uh, well, uh, you make you make it safely back to the dock. Uh, dock, uh, dock on the Yakante. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Uh, Yakaranda. Uh, While this is happening, I would like to just be kind of scanning the surface thoughts of people on the ship, making sure there are no threats to the Earth Alliance. Uh, as, you have, uh, as you are scanning, you can feel uh, this uh, 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 um, uh, oh, uh, every time you are near the Centauri Lady Miana, uh, uh, and she has this, uh, as she looks around, there is this sort of a warm, warm sensation of caring, caring and affection. Uh, but every time the Narn comes into view, it certain, uh, uh, it always immediately goes goes towards this mixed feeling of hatred and uh, gentle respect for some uh, some aspect of him. But other than that, uh, you're pretty certain that well, the, their relationship is not on a healthy basis. <clears throat> right. Uh, as Makes I, sense. But uh, but uh, none of the none of the three aliens on board are harboring any ill will towards the alliance. Okay, okay, I go back to drinking. That is always a valid option. And yeah. <clears throat> right. Uh, as as. As you wait, eventually the ship uh, ship glides in, and uh, the esteemed ambassador is led on board. And uh, what are the um, the window is open and the times are making a noise. Uh, just had to uh, out the room a bit between the uh, blackouts. But anyway. Uh, as he arrives to the ship, uh, obvi obviously he needs accommodation. You do have a free room, as is, for guest per personnel to use. However, he is, after all, the most high-ranking of you on the, on the ship. Which room will he get? I'm happy to do a friend a favor, but look, I'm not letting a Centauri anywhere near my personal bar after what happened last time. There are some very expensive liqueurs in there. It's non-negotiable. Uh, I, I, of course, I'm. It's like, uh, it's like I'll be, of course, walking up to Wesley. Uh, I can just go, right, uh, Wesley. I will personally. You can watch me, and I will help you carry your liquor anywhere else in the ship I'd secure it for you and then you can secure it in any other way there that I do not know about there but it's just make a good impression there he's, he's a neat man he, he will not wreck your room unlike me you know what I'm like You probably actually need the room cleaner than it's ever been. Look, he's going to he's going to Babylon Five. He's going to be a diplomat. We'll spin this as something else. Look, put him in standard accommodation, and we will tell him it is uh, cross cultural training to prepare him for Babylon Five. And look, we can we can even build build a family for it. It's good. He'll adjust. You know. Open his eyes up to how the rest of us live. Except for myself. I don't know, man. This this is supposed to be some wiggity whack high ranking Philadelphian guy. Maybe we should just give him the best room we got. Heck, once he gets a Babylon Five, we might be able to get some uh, I don't know some extra favors from it. I'm just saying we show this man some respect that the ambassadorship deserves. No offense, Wes. Mutiny, is it? Already. <laughs> yes. I mean, you could always sit in my room, but there's all that weights and bars and exercise equipment in the corner. I don't think he'd be comfortable. Not to mention the gun grease. Yeah. How's he with firearms? <laughs> it's, it's either that or we let him have my room. <sighs> I think, given he is your brother-in-law, 
that's appropriate. Fine, fine. You can have my room. Well, Landis, you could stay with me if you don't want to take one of the other rooms. There's always the cells. No, we got extra rooms and all, but I'm just saying, you get lonely, you can come stay with me for a bit. I'm gonna need a drink and eat there, and you can make sure I don't go over the top like I sometimes do. It's decided then. <laughs> I'm glad we worked that out. Um, too. So, of course, I'm gonna turn back around and go, ah, fear. <laughs> As there's been an unfortunate incident. The Ambassadorio Lounge, there's been a terrible mistake. It's still getting retrofitted. But as you're my brother, you're going to have brother-in-law there. You will have my room, which is the second best room on the ship. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I, no. I couldn't impose. I couldn't impose. Uh, uh, I would be fine fear, with any garrison. Fear, fear. Listen, you've got to take advantage of your position. You are Centauri! If, 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 if you insist. Of course I insist! Um, very well. Uh, 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 if, if you can show me the room, I will sit on myself. Uh, this way, fear. This way. And, uh, and the uh, most humble, uh, humble Centauri ambassador bumbles away with, with his brother-in-law towards, towards the regular uh, state rooms of your ship to settle himself into the Landis's quarters. Meanwhile, Landis gets to have his place in uh, one of the previously empty spaces that uh, has not been properly cleaned before your arrival, as it has not been earmarked for ever anyone so there's still a bit of construction leftovers here and there uh, <clears throat> some tape duct tape over over places that uh, didn't, didn't need to be touched and you know the usual it, it will take some time to clean it up but it will be livable at least <clears throat> so. As, so of course I'm just going with uh, I have slept him worse. I've got to remember that. Yes. Um, no, thank you, uh, Noah, for giving me your some space for me to accommodate me. Oh, sure, buddy. We go way back. <laughs> Ain't nothing about it. Don't worry. <sighs> that was a nasty business there, wasn't it? Um, yeah. But you know what? We came out of it all right, and that's all that matters. Anyways, let's get the sucker moving. Uh, moving. Nice. You figure out how much we're going to be making out of this. We got a lot of rent. I mean, this is going to be a very expensive ship after all. This one, this one, Wesley might not like it. We might potentially make a wee bit of a loss. But it's the favors. It's the favors that are going to be or earn us the money down the line. Oh, yeah, I get it. Family's important, buddy. Your, whatever is good for your family is good for us. Exactly there. Exactly there. Um, and this is the thing. is It's not only that, but Merlari, you might be potentially on the out because it's, it's a weird one. Merlari's family has power and prestige they could be on the out but if they if you humans are able to work this Babylon 5 into what you say it will be Malari might have influence again and helping fear and helping his staff there might give us connections that we might not have. Hell, even if Mulari gets kicked out the next day, as long as we get fear in place, there's other ambassadors there. Other worlds, other species. Business might be a Babylon 5 that has never been seen before, Noah. Yeah, I got it, man. This is all good for everybody. 
we got we got to make a business out of this. This is step number one. Make them contacts. Get those high ranking places. I got a few in the military. Plus, we get Babylon Five. I know a few of those people. This will be good all the way around. I'll make sure to make to show him the ropes and uh, treat him good. Make sure nothing happens to him. You can count on me, Landis. That's no problem. No. Right. Maybe it's time we get back to the bridge and see what's going on there. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Meanwhile, uh, uh, meanwhile, there has been a series of calculations and uh, and and uh, method, a series of calculations done on the bridge to make sure the extrication route towards the uh, uh, Ypsilon Eridani system, which is the system housing the famous Babylon 5 station you are headed towards in the neutral territory between the three four mighty states of Centauri and non-human and Minbari. This uh, neutral space station, uh, as you are heading course from here, should take you only three days to reach it. And uh, as you you are all quite well well in your positions and nobody is getting uh, out of their way wasted, the, the trip should be fairly uh, fairly easy. However, as you are in hyperspace, there comes a tight beam transmission. Uh, and there is a present message at the Femis terminal. As, I as, turn it on. Oh. Uh, as Femi, Femi uh, goes to the terminal, there is a simple email. Very good. Hmm, so, nothing unusual. There's a message saying, "Ah, you are uh, <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Ferry. It is, it is come to our attention that you are our only agent in the area capable of intercepting this particular transport. We wish you to engage it, uh, disable it, and retrieve its uh, travel logs for our use." Um, the ship is transporting some uh, culturally valuable artifacts stolen during the Earthman Barry War. Uh, what you do with those artifacts is no concern of ours. Consider it a reward for your for the task at hand. Uh, as usual, we prefer no witnesses. E- uh, signed Enoch Perrault. I just kind of just shake my head. It's like, ah. And here I thought it was going to be an easy day. Mm. As you as you peruse the information, uh, there is attached a few files. Um, essentially, essentially travel plans of the ship, uh, ship you are, and the blueprint of the ship and uh, crew manifest. Uh, the crew manifest. Uh, crew manifest has a pilot, an astrogator, and a mechanic. Just standard. Uh, no, no, no names though, which is unusual, uh, and usually sloppy for the people you work with. However, on top of that, uh, there is a manifest of uh, manifest of several uh, several artifacts on the cargo hold. Plenty of uh, plenty of paintings, uh, all, all all in generalized terms like painting, oil, statue, bronze, and so forth. On top, of, uh, on top of that, there is also the flight plan of the ship from here on out. Unfortunately, it is departure date and departure time from Babylon 5 towards the Epsilon Eridani secondary gate, uh, which uh, which is the one you will be entering the system, which is the which is much further away uh, out of Babylon 5 sensor range. Uh, so uh, this is where you would be. Uh, have the only opportunity to intercept it, but only if you do not go to Babylon 5 first. You also have a feeling that this is not a polite request. This is not a what? Uh, you ha- also have a feeling that this is not a polite request. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they never are. They never are. Uh. What they forget to say, please. <laughs> it only, um, it only for him you get the uh, request. Yep. 
what it says, but... <laughs> yeah. You mean this thing Psychop isn't telling us? Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Emotionally hurt. <laughs> Mm. So, I, assuming the only if I were to change flight plans, unknown link to everybody, the only people who would probably notice are the other pilot and the astrogator, correct? Pretty much, yes. And you'll have some very annoyed Centauris. They, they, they. <laughs> uh, I want to try. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> to, I would like to try to suggest to my astrogator that. There may be a alternate mode of travel, <laughs> alternate lo way we can travel to Babylon Five. No, uh, there is. Uh, this is the official one. There is no. Uh, I, uh, what do you mean alternate way? Uh, you mean the second bracket? Uh, try to lie is what he's trying to say. I was like, are you sure? And I'm going to telepathically suggest this in his head. <laughs> <laughs> the first oh, dice yeah, check of the yeah. game. Would you like to do it? Your, uh, no, this is actually the second check. Yep. Yep. Uh, so the first one was the paladin deck, but the first offensive check. Yeah. So this is uh, very difficult. <laughs> Indeed. So uh, it's very difficult. So that's a, I gotta get a twelve. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> as long as you succeed, everything is fine. Man. Oh, okay. I do believe that is not a twelve. That that is not a twelve. That is a six. <laughs> uh, so it's just a wee bit short, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes as, as you try to ma manage his mind, uh, he, he simply just uh, 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 just shrugs uh, and says, "Well, yes, the, I am sure this is the original. Uh, this is the official one. Uh, but if you do have an alternate, I am just working here. Uh, you are you are partner." Okay, then I just tell him just change the flight. Just change, just change the flight. Man. Okay, <laughs> if, if you insist, uh, it will give it, may make it a couple of uh, hours longer route. But it is your prerogative. Yep. All right. And and then I'm going to go talk to Zadora. Yes. <laughs> yes. Come in. So, I know we haven't had a chance to talk lately, but uh, I have some contacts from my heyday. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seems that there's a ship that has some uh, stolen art and uh, different items that uh, Earth Alliance is asking us to acquire. And uh, they're asking if... Uh, we could pick it up for them. Which, much though I hate to pry into your fears, Femi, which part of the Earth Alliance? It's not one of Daddy's enemies, is it? No, 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 no. Well, this is all above above board. Hmm. You know, it was a. It was Very a. Well. One of those senator friends that you know, I met back in the day. Well, it's always good to have more friends in both Centauri space and the Earth Alliance. Yeah. And Especially best, if we're going to Babylon 5. Yeah, and the best thing is, is on our way to Babylon 5. We just have to take a slight detour, but we'll be mm -hmm. able to 
do two jobs, increase our profit, and you know, none the worse for wear. All good. I knew there was a reason I had you on as a partner. Hmm. All right. So you're good with this? Yep. He sort of waves, waves, waves a hand behind him. Okay. Oh. Goes back to sort of staring at dodgy neoclassical art. All right. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as I like walk out, I'm like, oh, I'm getting too old for this bullshit. And just kind of walk, walk, walk somewhere. <laughs> Right. And uh, uh, how about the rest of you? Do you have, well, as this day bakes the three days, uh, how would you like to uh, associate yourself with somebody on the ship? One of the crew, uh, perhaps, or, or the ambassador himself? Well, I think my role to my family is making sure that Fear doesn't make an ass of himself in front of, you know, he's going to be an ambassador. So There's no way I want him to make an ass of himself, embarrass my family, his family, and Marie's family, because we're all related to him. And he... So I want to actually try and get across them. Yes, it's, you know, it's all these, like, you know, the old protocols. You start from the outside, work all the way in when it comes to the, you know, the, the cutlery you know, finger, pinky out and all that sort of stuff, you know, and it's just taking my time and just going through and stop apologizing for everything. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, so, 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 so sorry. Stop I have a... right there. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No, you're Centauri. Be proudful. Uh, okay, okay. I would also go to Noah's room, also. Oh, there's, a, there's a knock on a Noah's uh, Spartan door. Yeah, come on in, buddy. Hey, man. How's it going? Oh, you know, just keeping things nice and tight. All right. Uh, How about you yourself? Uh, doing good, you know. I'm still alive. Something on your mind there, friend? Looks like something's been troubling you lately. Uh, Why don't you set a spell and let's chat it out. Drink? Always. Always. I pull out a special bottle that's still sealed. You know, I don't drink myself anymore. But I don't mind sharing a drink with a friend of mine. Here you go. And I don't mind taking a drink from a friend. What's on your mind? Spill it. All right. Uh, looks like we're going to be taking a slight detour. Uh, oh. There seems to be a uh, ship that's ran away with some things that don't belong to them. There could be some issues. You're telling me we're going to go out there and steal some shit back? Now, are we the good guys or the bad guys in this scenario? In my mind, I'm always the good guy. Well, I suppose that's good. Bad folks took some stuff, a whole bunch of money, hostages, uh, uh, credits, uh, jewelry, uh, technology. What we got one after? It's a little bit of everything. All right. Well, I don't think there's a problem with that. Right. There's going to be some good pay for this, right? Of course. Have I ever let you down? No. No, you haven't. All right, then. What do you need from me? Just make sure you come well armed. Oh. <laughs> With this guy? <laughs> oh, I got this. All right. I pull out a very, a giant, very, very long, long rifle, and it's got all the attachments. Yeah, this boy's got laser mounted scope. Laser bus stops. <laughs> Foldable stock, lightweight, full auto. Is this going to be good enough for you, buddy? Whatever you need. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those missions, then. Yeah. All right. All right. 
I walk out. I'm definitely not going to Landis. I tell him nothing. <laughs> <laughs> In the background, I start dismantling for the third time all my, you know, the pistols, different uh, stealth knives, putting them in my boot, on my back pocket, recleaning the gun, readjusting the sights, and shining up old Betsy. Little battle armor that I have from left over in the days. Still bearing the brave mark of duct tape you had on it when you, when you patched it up. Yeah, it was full of scratches, divots, marks. Duct tape fixes everything in my book. Uh, fair enough. Uh, <clears throat> what of Wesley? Are you going to be interacting with anyone? There is. There is going to be a call over the crew intercom. Mm -hmm. Letting everyone know that as the captain of the ship, I have been noticing some recent tensions. And because there is an Earth Force backed tax credit for crew diversity and retraining, we are going to have a mandated sensitivity and understanding session <laughs> in the cafeteria at 8 p.m. sharp. Because I need to defray as many costs as I can on this yacht. <laughs> and for the purpose of the paperwork, you're all three people. <laughs> yep. All right. And uh, well, what about you guys? Are you going to be there at 8 o'clock shop, including you, Wesley? <laughs> Absolutely. I will be there at 750 hours. <laughs> no, I'm in my room. I'm in my room hungover. Uh, I'll be there with... Like, I'll be a bottle in one hand and a glass in the other hand. There. Just going... Sensitivity training? What the hell is this? You're either strong or you're weak or you're a man or female. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, eight o'clock shop. Those present are everyone except <clears throat> except your brave pilot, still hangover in his room. But, uh, uh, inclu uh, but uh, surprisingly, uh, the first three there are your marine, who, upon entering, finds out that there is uh, Dujar and Veer already there, in, in deep discussion about something, uh, something uh, held in the language of the Centauri, uh, which in this case is not uh, somewhat recent translating into your automatic translation software. Uh, 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 but as they are talking, they seem to be in rather amicable terms, uh, which is until the doors open and uh, uh, and in waltzes in Mi uh, Miana uh, with uh, with her flowing dress and uh, gaze that immediately turns into uh, t turns into eyes as he as she notices Dujar in the room and goes, oh, he is here as well. <laughs> um, well, hello. Yeah, we're supposed to all here get along, you know. I suppose we can get along with it. <coughs> savages. Uh, at, this, at this point, the ambassador raises up, raises up uh, plastering a little, like being caught, caught red hand, uh, red handed yep. in a cookie jar, and uh, uh, going. Uh, 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 hello, hello, lady Miana. Uh, uh, nice to see you too again. Uh, and. Uh, hmm? And the situation goes into an awkward silence mode from there on out, until uh, as the rest of the crew follows in uh, fear pretty pretty quickly after that, and uh, Wes uh, Wesley and Landis uh, almost colliding at the door as they get in. Ah, Sadora. So uh, no, 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 no. You go in first. Very well. Hey, Wesley's in there with a clipboard. He knows, normally he's very um, lackadaisical, but uh, he knows how to run a meeting. So uh, he's up front with the clipboard, surveying the crew with one steely eye because his other one is fucked. <laughs> OK, 
go. Attendance, everyone, if you're here, please raise your appendage. Good. Excellent. Uh, what appendages do you want me to raise? Because some of them are not for public. Ooh. So, how, many, how many do you have? My, are you after three already? <laughs> I'm assuming you mean my arm. This is exactly why I called this meeting. And you can see, he's, he's, if everyone who raises an appendage, he's, he's taking off three things on the list. Yeah. Right, I've been noticing some, some tension in the ship. And the issue is that there is, we're a very mixed crew. And this is for tax purposes. But I run a tight ship. And I want a ship that can run smoothly and with the minimum of fuss. Now. Can anyone tell me what they think maybe some of the issues that are present on the ship? It's not enough weaponry, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, there is this issue that uh, um, you are uh, a technically free, se uh, free servant uh, is rather appetite. You should see clear apathy. Wait, what is, what's the noun saying to this? The, the noun is like, uh, you should see real apathy. Let's take you to Centauri Prime. Uh, let's take you from Centauri Prime into non homeworld. See how apathy you get. This is when, like, Land Landis is just ah. Listen, folks. The way I see things, we're all just people. We just look different, but we all live in the same place, big vast universe. As long as we stay to each other's corners and respect each other, we should be fine. Isn't that right? Fair looks. Uh, Fair looks. Looks at the marine and shrugs and yeah, yeah, it is indeed big universe. I have been studying it for entire life and still have plenty to go. Uh, I have not even finished one star system completely, but huh, who needs all of the star system when only a percent of it is important? Uh, Veer, on the other hand, was already saying something and then noticing the other one speaking. Uh, you're, you're Veer? No, I am Fear. Ah, I'm Veer. Uh, yes, uh, yes, I know. Uh, mm, uh, ambassador? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, just, uh, just eight. Just eight. Not, not the real ambassador. Uh, the ambassador is Molari. Uh, you know, House Molari, London Molari. I have not heard that, that name, uh, but uh, good for you. Uh, uh, the, the two fears uh, uh, finished the discussion uh, rather swiftly there, and uh, then uh, suddenly uh, suddenly uh, everybody is looking at Wesley like, okay, is there anything else, so to say? Look, we're on an Earth Alliance flagship, so as far as I'm concerned, we obey Earth Alliance law. We get on with each other. There is no sniping among crew where I can see it or where the public can see it. If you have complaints, they go through me. And I will sort them out. I don't want to see anyone taking anything into their own hands. And I know we have issues in recent history between all our species. But that's the end of it. Not here, not now. It's a new future, and I need my crew running at maximum efficiency, because I don't pay you to bicker with each other. Dujar is the first to nod, and he said, mm, that's, the, that's the thing I like about humans. They can see through the unimportant parts. At this point, yeah. I, I'm just going to go, 
well in the spirit of cooperation I'm happy to and I start pouring a drink out hand the glass to your jar and pour another one for myself and I go I am happy to drink a toast to our fellow Norn and wish him long life and prosperity. Yes, live long and prosper. <laughs> right about now is when I will walk in and be like, are we still having a meeting? Oh, tricks. <laughs> well, Femi, come on in. We're we just having... about to uh, finish up, but come on in anyways. I walk back out. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, that was uh, a very family of him. <clears throat> Either way, hmm? uh, is this concluded? Can I go back to my research? Or? Absolutely. Just make sure we don't get lost. And uh, I assume. Uh, Femi has talked to you about uh, our new rep. Oh, yes, uh, Femi had me uh, plotting the route uh, uh, earlier, uh, some time ago, yes. But we are already on the route for the new destination. Also, uh, a little break here, Wimsy seems to have frozen. Can you still speak? Yep, I'm still here. Okay, Wim is here. here. Everyone else seems to be working fine. Bimsy froze. So I suppose we'll uh, have a little uh, break, uh, break here because I also need to uh, use the biological um, based disposal facilities of the ship. Okay. So uh, uh, entertain the audience for me for a while. Are we like, why don't we all just go on break? Can we pause the stream? Uh, I suppose uh, just a quick few, a couple of minutes. Do we have Five like minutes, y'all. Do we have like the wait screen? Three whatever? minutes. Let's not make it that long. Uh, I don't think we have a wait screen anywhere. But I'll uh, uh, just mute yourselves. So, for the uh, stop video or whatever you need, just uh, don't go away. Just a couple of minutes. That long. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna stick around and. See if the chat wants something. Yep, I'll talk <laughs> to the audience too. Yep, we'll talk to the audience. We'll keep them entertained. Oh, you know what? Let know Let's see if we could change some state rooms. <laughs> Let's put a different background on here. See what we got. So the audience knows Vimy is planning on taking over Psycor in its entirety and then taking over planet Earth. That, those are his life goals. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know, good luck with that. I don't think you're going to have a very good success. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll be also be, I'll be surprised. I'll, I'm I'm probably going to like make my own self brain dead just using psychic powers. <sighs> so, if we get any questions from here in the next 5 minutes, we'll make sure to answer them. Oh man. There's like a delay happening here on this Twitch stream. Yeah, uh, it's about five or six. Normal, I suppose. Yeah, it's like about a five minute. Not a five minute, but like a two, three minute delay. Hey, I'm getting a little bit confused here. The our diplomat person that we're taking. Yes. I have his name as the, also. Uh, it's Vir Koto, V I R, and then the surname C O T T O. Yeah, beer, beer, and it's because I think my confusion is we have somebody else in our crew that's called Fur or Fear. Yes, uh, Fur. So, so, you know, you start throwing names that sound very similar, and I know you all, Centauri, have some <laughs> interesting things, but <laughs> Fur and Beer, well, my old human ears just can't quite distinct to. Oh no, our screens are all jacked up now on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Looks like Oopsies has yeah, actually crashed there. I mean, I could oh, come up no. a little bit and then. I uh, hold on. I'm having to be. Yes. That, that's too much work. Uh, I don't. 
Or I have to. God, I can't crouch. Uh, <laughs> so we like to. We, I guess, suppose we like to thank the, all the people watching. Uh, yeah. Thanks, making yes. fools of ourselves out of here, and you know, <laughs> hope to keep you entertained. Well, I guess I'll, we, we can just do the same announcements. Uh, we have another show, show starting tomorrow at Hi, 100 GMT. Uh, and then we also have two more shows starting at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. I am speaking correctly. Yes. <laughs> what shows are those? Uh, t tomorrow is The Guardians uh, using the Cypher system. It's a superhero based uh, campaign. And then there are two D&D &D campaigns that are starting on uh, 5e at the end of the month. Oh, okay. I'll write those down. Yeah. I will be GMing the one tomorrow, so you guys get to see me GM and not pretend to be a person other than I get to pretend to be a lot of people. Sorry about that. I just had a wireless router crash, so I had to reset some stuff. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. okay. Uh, um, so, Spooky, you're going to have to change your voice because you're, you're now at the door. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I need to set down my voice as well because people are hearing my background noise. So, okay. Uh, Let's see, uh, yeah, Wesley and Noah ch uh, changed places, so that's not too hard to fix, but <laughs> we'll just let it be this, uh, the rest of the session, as it's only about an hour left, until our official cut of time. Uh, okay. So, hour so and we left it at what? We're just gonna let people mistake their personalities, so uh, Wesley's gonna be played by... <coughs> Played by Carlos and <laughs> no, keep your own characters and uh, we'll fix uh, fix that uh, we'll fix that issue uh, next time we log in, uh, which is next week. Hopefully, we will have uh, less of a technical difficulties to stream going on. <laughs> I felt like Landis was going to say something before things froze. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> My apologies. Uh, yeah. Let's get back to business and yep. the turn is on Landers. Sadora, so what do you mean by course correction? Simply a uh, new approach that we feel is good for experimental data collection. Uh, our navigator, could, our astrogator could tell you more, but uh, I don't want to hype it up too much. How much of a visible. delay is it going to be? Look, the delay, the delay is not meaningful for the, for the purpose of our diplomatic um, so there are career. Career? So you, know, you know what I mean. We can we can carouse and we can talk politely all day long. Let's cut down, cut the shit, and actually just tell me straight up how many hours are we delaying the journey? Like what? Three days? Hmm. But don't worry, we won't be charging the diplomatic corps for the extra time. I am just having to think what I'm going to have to say to my wife and my family. You could have told me a wee bit earlier. Vagaries of space travel, look. <laughs> we're doing them a favor. The least they can do is be grateful. They are going to be grateful. But you got to remember, these are two admirals we're talking about, and one of them is my grandfather. So, I am saying this with the blithe confidence of someone who's not married to your wife. So, you know, <laughs> uh, it probably, probably rubs the wrong way. And I can say, sir, 
you'll probably be thankful that you're not married to my wife when when I have to give her the news of the delay. Exactly, you're giving her the news. Good man. Yeah. We might wish to have more armor on this yacht. That's what I keep saying. But they won't listen. They say it's not in the budget. How's a how's a how's a career dipl- how's a soon to be career diplomat taking all this? Is he sort of cowering at a corner or? <laughs> the uh, uh, we we are uh, twitching his thumbs and uh, looking elsewhere, trying to not impose him on the internal conversations and be a bigger burden instead. Just um, so to dar, uh, uh, how are the forests on I'm doing? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm just like, I just hear that, I'm going, FEAR! Uh, 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 my apologies, my dear brother-in-law can sometimes get a bit foolish, we'll just say. There, I apologize for any offense he may have caused you. Oh, he seems like the uh, perf- perfectly affable to me. If only more Centauri could follow his example. For a briefest moment, anybody looking in that direction sees a glow on Veer as he's been complimented. Before before uh, Landis gets to take a take a glance, at which which point it dies immediately and turns t- turns back to him into trying to gaze some other direction, looking like he wasn't wasn't listening. I think I have a communication that will probably strip my backside from even here to make. Excuse me, gentlemen. Gadar, Veer, you might be better if you're with me. You can probably save me from your sister. Uh, of, of, of course, if you think I'm, I'm going to be any help with her. Uh, she, uh, he, he, you, you can tell her. And I'm uh, just going to grab her. Grab her. <laughs> That's why I fear. Uh, the poor, uh, poor Centauri diplomat is being dragged across the ship to the uh, uh, diplomatic quarters on board. Basically, as we're leaving, you go, you can tell her how it's not my fault. <laughs> Oof, I hate to see that conversation. Uh, I mean, meanwhile, uh, and Miana rolls pro- pro- her eyes and says, Oh, yeah. Such a such statue of a... Oh. He doesn't bear it well, does he? Which is a shame. Uh, to be with a proper diplomat. Hmm? <coughs> and uh, she walks away to... Uh, brand, uh, possibly towards her own quarters. And uh, Dujar looks at the rest of you and goes... I assume this is over. May I return to doing the checks on the hyper tri- uh, on the maneuvering drives? Yes. Before you leave, can everyone please sign the clipboard so I can file the paperwork with Earth Force administration? Uh, uh, mm-hmm. At mm. this point, half of the crew has already left anyway. So. <laughs> right. I felt we made progress. <laughs> this. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, this uh, uh, fine little meeting yeah, earns you apparently half of the half of the signatures. So Dugar and yourselves and uh, apparently Malone's. Uh, Femi was never there anyway. So and three is up. better than nothing. Yeah, it's good. Thirty-four people through um, sensitivity and and um, cultural training. You know what, Zadoro? I think that meeting went just fine. Good job. Thank you. Hmm. 
Next, next on the docket is obviously a discussion that is better left for uh, R-rated audience. Uh, and we will go towards the exit from hyperspace part of this journey <coughs> near Epsilon Eridani, where your ship comes out of the uh, jump gate. I have to pay the uh, steep sum once more for using using the gates. Uh, they are greedy sort of bunch that way, forcing you to pay for services. How dare they? Anyway, you make it to the Epsilon Eridani system, and what is your call to action? Uh, the immediate vicinity around the secondary jump gate is mostly empty. Uh, aside of the pylons themselves and a few odd planets up in the distance, far, far away. Then, of course, yep, the. Let me make a suggestion. Oh. Yep. Now, of course, the beacon of Babylon 5 is transmitting its coordinates so you can follow it at your leisure. Otherwise, it's. Nothing unusual. Is this close to where uh, we're supposed to be intercepting some sort of transport ship or some something like that? Captain Obama, you recommend us make a suggestion. Let's go into stealth mode and put scanners to the topmost and let's figure out what we're getting ourselves into. Very good. You're yeah, the professional. All right, you um, and them, folks. Get to your stations. Keep lights down. Motors at the minimum. It's going to shutdown mode and uh, give me a scan of the surrounding areas. I want visuals. I want traffic signals. I want everything. Get hood to it. Hood. Mm -hmm. Is this how old human military operates? Yes. I believe we need somebody on sensors or something like that. Uh, that is usually been fear who's been uh, fig fidgeting with the sensor array, but you can always substitute him with one of. No, 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 no. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a name. Ah. Are you seeing anything on your screens? Mm -hmm. Well, I do have a single ship headed uh, headed towards us. Uh, uh, bearing 725 and uh, it seems to be a shuttle uh, only about uh, as big as the one we have in our shuttle bay yeah. a bit bigger right. perhaps uh, <coughs> at this rate it is impossible to, uh, impossible to have that sort of accuracy but uh, yeah it's definitely it's not a big ship less than 100 tons so if that's the only shuttle out here can you tell from here if it's got jump drives uh, that size ship, uh, I would say, uh, not possible. Uh, well, on theory, perhaps. Maybe the Midbari have small enough hyperdrives for that. That's a little bit of a small ship to be out here in this big, great void. Well, it's probably coming the for the hyperdrive. Hmm? Well, it's probably oh. coming for the jump, board, jump gate right oh. behind us. Good point, good point. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. Does this, like, match the description of what I was told? Yes, um, as you look at this skin, uh, as you double check with your files, taking off your pad and flitching through, uh, yes, you ma uh, match the silhouette with the one on the screen, and yeah, uh, you would say it's a match. Definitely. Uh, according to your data files, uh, the ship has no all towards weapons, uh, which is most often with these uh, civilian transports. Okay, so remind me again, what all, I'm just supposed to get the stuff back. The only, it. Thing, only thing <laughs> you are supposed to get is the logs of the, uh, the travel logs. Uh, the travel them. logs and then no witnesses. No, no witnesses. The, these are what you must do. Anything else though? No? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Frammy, what's the plan here? Uh, I say that we uh, move to intercept. We are the biggest ship. Uh, we we hail them, tell them we're going to board. Yeah. We get what we are supposed to get and then let them be on their way. What kind of crew is this people 
Do you know anything about the, what type of people they're on there? That wasn't mine. <laughs> it wasn't mine. Uh, just your usual, you know, discredited individuals. It shouldn't uh, have much, it shouldn't be much of a threat once we're on the ship. All right, then. Uh, Fermi, uh, wait, uh, Zadora, you want to uh, heal them then, or or what? Look, if we're gonna be if we're gonna be bolder, you might as well get close and then hail them before they can escape. No point in giving them a heads up. It would be just like uh, they haven't seen us. Our senses are bigger. It'll be just be like uh, you know, a bit. It'll just be like Black Star. Yeah. We oh, wait and then yeah. we get them. Yeah. All right. Well, you heard us. Let's get them up close. Get stuff ready to go. Start hailing them. And by the way, get the pod pod base ready to go. <laughs> All right. I'll start making preparations to what needs to happen to for a boarding party and for contact if we need it. All right. I'm just generally monitoring. I don't know if we're technically in ship combat yet. So okay. technically, since it's one on one, it's not a ship combat until somebody engages with the hostilities. Uh, so, as, uh, uh, as you sit silently waiting at the jump portal uh, in, in the near vicinity of it, uh, assumably, uh, the ship does indeed travel towards the gates and uh, as, as it approaches to the nearby coordinates you described, uh, what, do you, what are your actions? It doesn't seem to notice you in any manner. So, Dora, we're going to communicate with them or not? Or we're we just going to throw a couple uh, warning shots across the bow? Can we uh, forcefully dock it? <laughs> or, like, just, like, take it in, like... <sighs> yes, yes, that is possible if the pilot is skilled enough. Uh, unfortunately, they have a huge advantage in the fact that they have a larger engine compared to their ship size, so they are faster. They can outrun you if you don't succeed at one Attempt. Look, we can't risk these people getting away with this ship. We have our orders from Earth Alliance. Uh, aim to disable them. We could also do an onboarding ship. We got boarding pods too, if we want to do this a little bit without them even noticing. All right, that's a plan. All right then. So, we're going to either disable them or go in straight from the top. Make your decision there, Cap. We'll board them. It'll be just like, just like old times. So oh, I've gotten sick of sitting behind a desk. <sighs> Roger that. All right, crew. We're going to start heading down and whatever little preparations need to be happening, getting yeah. for the ready. So, essentially, since you only have one launching tube, uh, I'm allowing you to have this uh, epi epiphany in, uh, mm, what's, what's the word, uh, when, when you do it before. Uh, you do it, yeah. It's only one tube, so we... It's only one tube. You had, had this oh. epiphany like 15 minutes ago, so you had time to prepare. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, since you only have one of the launch tubes, you have to manually recharge and put more than one. So you have a total of five launch, uh, six launch capsules. So how many of you are going to fit themselves into them? How many people can we stick in per launch capsule? What? It's designed one. for one person only. This is the small type, not the... Not the uh, not the military grade uh, five five people or so forth, but this is this is the smallest one you can find on the market. And how many people did was did my information say were on the ship again? Uh, according to your information, three people: pilot, astrogator, and mechanic. Okay. So in essence, we could either send all four of us 
or even more of the crew if they want to. We have a backup pilot that could keep said bay, or we could just send this partial crew on for all four of us and then yeah. being sent. Unfortunately, you have no combat crew, and uh, the only one uh, even willing to do combat, your Drasi crew member, has, uh, mm, has had his sick leave for now and will join you uh, when you talk with Babylon 5 the next time. Uh, yeah, I wasn't counting on them come down with us. I want to put our, I want to put the new guys on, on in any sort of danger, at anyways. So you think the best action is just what move to disable? Yeah, move to disable, then board them. Yeah. Yes. All right. This is when like La- Landis comes out. He's going. What's with all the acceleration? Look, go keep your brother company for a couple hours. Yeah, the big boys are talking. This is Earth Alliance business. Like I was saying previously, this is an Earth Alliance flagged vessel. So, uh... Is this something where we are wanting deniability for certain individuals? Look, I, I like your brother. He's a, he's, sure. a, he's a nice kid, but... He doesn't need to see this. Fine, fine. <laughs> but try and keep it quiet. The, the louder it is, the more questions he's going to ask. Look, uh, tell, tell him it's some strange human thing. Um, I'll, the training I'll, exercises or something. I'll, I'll think of something. All right. All right. So, uh, Noah, uh, are you heading towards the turrets to shoot it, or are you heading towards the breaching boards to be ready to board? Uh, let's go. Let's go over to the. Uh, yeah, I'll get over to the turrets and start getting the stuff's prayer and take off that piece of plastic that's on here. Oh boy, let's see what this sucker can do. <laughs> uh, what range are we currently in? Uh, you can choose any range up to uh, up to short. Uh, to be where you where you begin your uh, begin your assault on them. So uh, sorry, uh, short being the shortest range you can. They will go past far enough to not get any closer than that. Yeah. So you guys will zoom in to short range and then. Uh... Yeah, danger close. Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right, or a little bit past that. You know, we disable them, then go in one step further. Where was that range thing? Well, luckily, we have a map for it. All right. Yes. Let's uh, load up the load up you the proper map for it. Has that one? There should be the range band. Since you only have one ship, we are not going to be using any. Any other ex- extra efforts in here? So that placeholder will do. And uh, so you decided to start with short range, or will you prefer medium? Medium range, please. So they will have the uh, before they end their short range, or after they end their short range. Say again. Uh, before before they come closer than medium, or after they go away from you. Um, before they get closer to me, I mean, the yeah. my goal is to try to catch up a little bit as we're going, uh, as we're getting close to it at the medium spot, hit them in their end, or to try to disable their forward motion. Ooh, right. Okay, since you have a lot of time, the route is predictable. You can make a make an educated guess where they're gonna end up in, and uh, that means that means you get a nice shot, and you can even aim it. So. I'll give you a additional plus two for the for the shooting shooting check. All right. And well. plus two from it being the uh, bull's cannon type of weapon. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah. All right, there we go. Got the screen up. My mouse is starting to be weird. Annoyance. All right. So, what would you recommend here? I roll a skill check for it. 
Yeah, that's a turret skill check with the plus four modifier. Turret skill check. Yeah, where to go? There. Wow, there it is. Nope, that's not it. There it is. With the plus, uh, plus four. Work. Oh, plus four. There we go. I'm counting on you. Yes, yeah, so am I. <laughs> well, heck, this is the most annoying thing. Here I am trying to fire this weapon, and I'm trying to get used to these new buttons. These controls sure are weird. Not standard. Earth Force. There we go. Boom, boom. And as that roll ends up a result of 30, which is five more than your target number of eight, means that it is an automatic critical hit. Oh, shit. And since you were particularly aiming for engine systems, I will make this an automatic engine hit instead of rolling on the random tables. So the engines are not quite disabled. Unless this damage comes up. Oh, no. I've also got a macro set up for the damage. Oh, that's handy. Uh, well, roll the damage then, if you have the macro. All right, let's see if that worked. I'm not going to add any modifier to it. There it goes, 26. Oh, what sort of damage die are you using for 26? Because uh, uh, damage should be 2d6. It's 2d6 plus 2 times 2, which is what was written in the book. Uh, what? Unless it's one turret and you meant times yeah, you, 2. You have two turrets. You only shoot one at a time. So let's divide 20, or 26 by 2. That would make it 13. <laughs> Oh, I'll go with that. Well, yeah, next time let's check the math first. <laughs> All right. My bad. Uh, we'll check the math with the sessions next time. So, Okay, but 13 is actually, in, in a ship this size, uh, additional critical. So that's a disabling hit. The engines of the ship sputter out and it begins to sm begins to let out the smoke beneath it as a, as a contrail against the darkness of space. Uh, and... Uh, that is uh, when they uh, open up their communications, okay, uh, sending out rather immediate SOS. Uh, Fur, on the other hand, is on the command console and attempting to jam their communications. Good man. Double six. Yeah. Um, what communications? Yes, <laughs> what communications indeed. He's... He apparently manages to silence the entire array. And not even your communication array is getting the Babylon 5 big enough anymore, as the system system is made completely void of all trans transmissions. Uh, you are not, not entirely sure how he manages that. But uh, he is a master of his art, apparently, and now you have a disabled ship in front of you. It is unable to move except with the with the uh, it is unable to dodge, however it retains its momentum, carrying on the forward towards the jump gate. Estimated time before he floats towards the jump gate and is able to float. About five minutes. Alright. Well we can move the ship pretty much close to it and then begin boarding. Yes, yes you can. Uh, Alright. Roll me a pilot and check to talk, uh, uh, talk with it. Alright. Um, Yes, uh, you take your big, luxurious yacht and next to this uh, blow, half blown up uh, <clears throat> shuttle, docking yourself, uh, docking one of your airlocks and, uh, against uh, their airlock, securing it in place, catching only minor paint job on your side, uh, something that should be covered with a brush and a couple of hours in the dock, or just 
holding still and using an EVA so either way you now have connection to the airlock which no doubt is noticed by whoever is inside that ship all right before we do anything I was like all right guys when we get over there they're going to lie to us they're probably going to say a bunch of things that aren't true but trust me when I say they are indeed lying all right once we get on board, what's our main objective? Uh, just recruit, just re uh, take their logs, leave them alive, or what? Uh, basically, we just take the, the stolen items from them. I will then interrogate the individuals, and then they will be free to seek help and then leave. All right. Pod. Uh, pod bays are ready, or we could take the shuttle and try to greet them. But we got to run it out of time here. They're still drifting forward towards the gate. No, we're no, locked. No, we're no, locked in. You are mm -hmm. controlling the enemy ship. They are yeah, we're, attached yeah. to yours. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we better head down to the uh, docking bay, pop it open, and get on through, right? That's one way to do it. All right. So. Who are taking part in the assault? Oh, you know who I am, brother. <laughs> of course you are. Meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile in London, I mean, uh, V's ambassadorial quarters, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> uh, the, um, yeah, the ambassador is... Uh, what is going on? What is that fracas? Uh, are we being under attack? Uh, uh, fear, there's nothing to worry about. There's... Sometimes the human ships, they like to test their weapon systems just to be 100% sure they're still working. Is that another ship? Uh, it's probably an asteroid. They're just using something for their target acquisition systems. If you are certain, uh, only some persuasion <laughs> while you're at it. See how well he buys this. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> elaborate rouge. All right, where's my persuasion? Uh, is this going to be persuade? Is that going so? What would you be my? You can either leverage your societal ranking or you can use your intellect. Oh, I'm gonna use my society, unless you want to threaten it with your sheer strength of body. <laughs> I'm gonna go social there. Um, no modifier, I'm guessing. There. Yep. Okay. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, apparently you pull like, do you know me? I'm from the navy. I know how these humans work. I used to used to fight with them. Trust me, this is no, this is nothing alarming. They just want to try their weapons. And uh, where is uh, uh, Asaid? Uh, oh, uh, not Asaid, but satisfied with the answer and trying to uh, enjoy the show of blasting up an asteroid. <laughs> uh, lucky for you, the, uh, uh, the ship spawns as it goes towards uh, as it goes towards the so-called asteroid, and she uh, he, we does not get to see uh, the uh, same object close enough to make a difference <laughs> difference <laughs> the estimate <laughs> of what it was but he is a bit uh, curious why there is a smoke trail behind an asteroid oh. but uh, your explanation no doubt is more than uh, suitable uh, <clears throat> as, uh, su suitably answered Meanwhile, the invasion crew gets ready at the gates of battle, setting themselves up against the airlock, connecting the two system, uh, connecting the two ships. Okay. So there is only one door between you and them. It is theirs. How do you plan to breach it? Well, I got a t I got a torch kit. It'll take a couple minutes, or we could just, uh, I don't know, I'd hate to use the explosives for this type of work, you know, it being so close to our ship. Yeah, look, 
Do you know how much the wood paneling in here costs? Use the torch kit. Yeah, very well. I grab it from my back pocket, already having, like, prepared for this eventuality and start doing the uh, laser torching slowly thing where it, uh, it zaps a small circle, you know, a small trace around in a circle in a pattern and then at some point we'll have to kick it open while he's but doing that can i cast life detection on the ship uh you can tie but you need to put your hand on the wall uh on the metal to actually get get your senses through it it's taking up the block psionic uh, talents otherwise yeah, of course you can tie touching it from the side that is not being burned at the moment. Yes, <laughs> yes, I will do that. All right, fair enough. Uh, roll, me, roll me the detection skill. That's a nine, and you get at least a four, I believe. Well, well four uh, plus. yeah, uh, there is definitely, definitely three life signs on the other side. Okay. Uh, except that there is a fourth one. Oh uh, shit! How, however, one of uh, one of the first three that you notice are uh, uh, is is uh, sort of uh, fade, not all there, and the fourth one seems to be further away than the others, uh, possibly beyond another obstacle, but it's still strong enough that you can feel it. Possibly some sort of small uh, small hidden compartment by your experienced investigative skill. Hmm. I, I would that. say be careful. There are some there might be some tricks uh. aboard the ship. Roger that. Alright. Once by this time I think uh I'm done blow torching open a, an opening on the door. Yeah. You know, whatever the lock points are that I'll allow us to uh, breach in there easily. As, as an experienced star marine of several years of combat experience, you are well, well versed with the uh, welding open uh, airlock. And as yeah. you are finished, you set aside your tools, pick up your other tool, and ready yourself. And as you kick in the door, I want you to roll initiative. Absolutely. Oh boy, how do we do that? <laughs> Ready to rock and roll once you can figure out the interface. <laughs> yeah. This so, is our first time here, so... Uh, yeah, how do, how do we do this? <laughs> you go to the combat section, and there should be uh, beneath armors... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 there it is. Initiative. initiative. Yeah. Boom. Plus, I, you know, I've got leadership's qualities, too. Nine. Oh yeah, you can uh, actually you can actually roll military tactics beforehand to give everyone a static bonus. So you can do that. Can do. Military tactics. Boom. Woo! Look at them. Look at them numbers. Okay, that means everybody gets a plus five on your side. Uh, oh sorry, shit! Not plus five, plus three. Uh, wrong number. So. Uh, Femi goes up to 12, you go up to 9, and uh, Wesley is not following this, is he? Uh, yes, of course he's following. He's an officer and a gentleman and a closet alcoholic, so yeah. So, <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta get out of there. Well, this is will you? That's an I think they should have done it on the road. 11. So, yeah. So, Wesley... Uh, Femi, Wesley, Noah, and then we got the enemy side at 8, 2, and 9. So, um, yeah, you all go before them, thanks to your military genius being able to tell you, okay, 3, 2, 1, and you dash in while the dust is still settling your uh, your weapons raised and you see uh, and as you as the dust fades uh first the femi femi uh, as he can scan through the area now without any inter inter interference from the bulkheads and armor plating 
Yeah, there are indeed three alien mines in immediate vicinity uh, with clear hostile intent. Uh, one, one, of, one of them cursing wounds and and two of uh, b but all of them ready to shoot the first thing they see the uh, first thing they see which would be me but Femi is the quickest of you and with your psionic talents you can even shoot through the mist uh, shoot through the dust without actually needing to see any of these targets but the shot is going to be somewhat random in direction all right so i would like focus I guess on the nearest body, uh, and so I get my significant action and my minor action, so yeah. I can aim. Yep. So I'm going to aim. <laughs> you aim, and then I will shoot. Yep. You get the get your aim bet aim bonuses to it. So normal aim bonus is what? Normal aim bonus is one per one per so minor action. Yeah, no, I mean, so it's it's a plus one when you aim for the first time, correct? Yeah. Then I get this. Okay. You get your gear bon bonus on the one there. Okay. All right, that's a solid hit. That's a fourteen points of damage on the first target. That is a pretty solid hit, and. Uh, mm, there is this animal shriek as uh, as flesh burns, burns, and next on the line is Wesley, the officer and the gentleman. Excellent. Uh, can is there sort of cover on the hallway, or are we just sort of breaching into the airlock? You are breaching through the airlock in the uh, into this space behind behind it, which seems to be some sort of docking, uh, which seems to be some sort of cargo bay. Okay, uh, Wes is going to bravely uh, take cover if there is miscellaneous cargo within the cargo bay. There is several, several metallic cargo crates, metallic or plastic cargo crates in there, and you can uh, heroically leap behind the cover as you go there, but that will end your action there, but you'll be pretty much safe per from any cover. Perfect, yeah. He'll wait for the smoke to clear while the, the experts do their thing. Yes, of course. Uh, all, all they need is your glorious leadership in this battle. Exactly, exactly. Moral support. Yes. All right. Uh, next in the line of succession is Noah. Oh, that's me. The <laughs> <door. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you you <laughs> All right. For a second, I fall. It's because yeah. I'm frozen. I usually respond to. I usually respond to Malone. I activate the the onboard personal hot glasses. <laughs> friend or friend or foe gets lit up. Pull out the rifle. Uh, could I use a minor action to engage and move forward? Yeah, yeah, that is. Essential. Maybe not quite as melee, but I want to be uh, up in their face. Yeah, up in their face. All right, everybody. This is a boarding party. We have you surrender your weapons, and you all live. And um, I will take use my um, either action or minor actions left over to aim at the biggest one that's there. All right. So you go there and you try to intimidate these motherfuckers to surrender. Right. And also as a as a bonus point, I want to be like the one in front, so that if the case there's any fire it comes to me. Right. All right. Um, I want you to roll me persuasion. Persuasion. Ten four. That will be with strength if you just in strength or intellect at your own leisure. Come on, persuasion. Yeah, social wouldn't be here in this case, but that's all right. Yeah, Let's in do this it. case you can use the use strength or intellect. Your st social standing will not be helpful for you. Help, yeah, help yeah, yeah. It's no problem. <laughs> Boom. Boom. So, awesome. So that means you mm, 
How would you uh, how would you describe that sort of uh, effort? Oh yeah, I stepped straight up and started scanning everybody, and then my battery pack on the g rifle falls onto the ground and goes ding 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 ding. Oh sh! Oh no! <laughs> Just, just, just because of that, I'm going to invent this thing, uh, of the import this thing called uh, advantages and disadvantages. You can, as, you, you get one, uh, 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 no, no, you get one free point to call on a boon, whenever you want. Oh, nice. For that. <laughs> Until the end of this session, uh, I'm not going to keep track between sessions of these, but. You now have a boon to go on whenever you want because you made a cool thing. <laughs> right. Okay. So as your battery back rolls down on the on the ground, the three uh, nuns look down at the pack, look back up at you in their in their <coughs> weapons, the big guy, and all in unison fire their weapons at the well armored enemy in front of them that made a, made a mockery of what it, what it is to be an Earth Alliance Marine. <laughs> Tough, craft and ready to die. So, let's see what happens. Uh, that's a solid hit, so... Uh, second one, uh, even solider hits. That's actually a crit. <laughs> can I use uh, dodge actions on these, or dodge reactions? Yes, you can. All right. So there's three attacks in total. I have no idea how to roll these. Uh, you don't roll, I believe. Good. Instead, you did, they just get a penalty on their actions. And you... Uh, uh, actually, diving for cover is the one where you dive for cover and get the most, pen uh, most bonuses against it. But that means, oh. uh, that means uh, you lose your next round action because you recover from the cover. Gotcha. Well, then maybe we'll avoid that. I mean, my whole point okay. is to soak up the damage, and we'll do that. So, uh, actually, yeah, you do that so you get penalties on next round for any actions. We'll do it that way. Oh, I'll read up the rules next time because I didn't expect it to go this far. <laughs> yeah, we're doing some combat, folks, and we're all new to this. <laughs> hey, bear with us. So, uh, yeah, uh, he gets your dexterity or athletics uh, dexterity rank. Uh, uh, dexterity modifier or athletics dexterity modifier negative to his attacks from top. Yeah, and I think we're you clear. don't have either way. I'm not very good at no. Okay, uh, then nothing melee either, so you don't get that. So dodging in your case apparently does nothing. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, it was a valiant effort. You tried in your heavy armor to dodge. Instead, you are taking damage head on. So. The first attack, which gets a plus a three modifier, thanks to how well it hit. That is um, 17 points of damage. 17? Yes. And now I got a little bit of, not the super armor, but I got the little bit of boarding armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is just your basic, super basic, or what we got here. Uh, protection level two. Okay. So the first hit takes you down by 13, 13 points, so first from endurance, and that drains your endurance. Yeah, that's going to take me down fully, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that means just that you are out of breath. And uh, next hit, which is 14 points of damage, you have to reduce either from dexterity or strength. We're going to hit it from strength, but that'll also reduce me down to zero, I think. Yeah, uh, that means you are immediately unconscious. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Amazing Grace plays in the background as as your mighty marine goes down in the first enemy volley. 
And uh, that is the enemy's turn there. Next is uh, Febby, seeing his friend go down. His enemy is in, uh, well, fighting shape. Not full fighting shape, but fighting shape. Uh, we can't hear you. You're muted, man. You need to unmute. Yeah, I know. I'm still <laughs> thinking about what I want to do because this went, this went, this went bad. <laughs> really quick. This went bad. Yeah, this could be an easy mission. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to. I want to use telepathy to basically to uh, just make them super scared. It's like just fear, like just very afraid of us to, you know. Okay. Just because they've seen one of you guys go down in the immediate first volley, um, I will make that uh, with a bane. Oh. Let's see what comes out of it. Yep, uh, the Bane is not going to do much, that's a failure. They, uh, your, your attempts to influence an alien mind uh, goes rather poorly. Uh, your uh, mind is just scattered between your own fear and trying to impose it on the enemy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Well, then I will, like, hide behind the other side of the, <laughs> the airlock. <laughs> okay. Okay, next is Wesley. Behind the okay, cover. Wesley can see this is all going south. And he reaches into his field dress coat pocket for something he'd planned to save for later. But now's as good a time as any. And he brings out his MacGuffin firearm. <laughs> which our GM can describe more closely. From Wesley's pocket comes out this gleaming, clearly centauri made device, uh, reminiscent of a flintlock pistol, uh, but with, the, with a few variations, like the barrel being about the uh, width of a fist, and it gleaming in the uh, coppery sheen of yellow. He aims it at, uh, at the enemies, pulls the trigger and lets loose a bright bright blue blue flame that darts out of the barrel straight through the narn and straight through the console straight through the hull and all the way outside disintegrating the poor poor bastard bastard and leaving a hole in the hull causing an immediate decompression of the room <clears throat> This is where we start doing different checks. First off, uh, Wesley, Femi, what are you going to do? You, uh, both of you, uh, Wesley in particular, is sort of expecting this, except that it, it does go a bit overboard with his expectations on how much damage there would be. And... Uh, and, uh, he is, uh, can I intimidate as like a minor action, having just disintegrated one of them and the ship's now decompressing? <laughs> sure, if you want to stick around in the anything, then yeah, go for it. We're losing air. I mean, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's, there's more where that will come from. It, your ship's depressurizing. Come with us and you can live. Okay, uh, hold me penetration. I'll give you a boon. Okay. <laughs> There's just a plus one, right? No, boon is I roll a die and replace one of yours if it's uh, better than what you rolled. At this moment, would there be alarms going off? Uh, no, not really alarms on your side, as it is beyond the airlock and right, the airship. Okay. 
but you do see a bright blue flash out of your window. Uh, greatly reminiscent of a Centauri iron cannon burst. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, if you uh, have you had a look at some of the art that Sidora has collected, it's not up to our standard, of course, but there's something intriguing about it. Well, he's immediately distracted by the aspects of uh, alien art. Uh, meanwhile, inside the ship, um, the persuade check seems to go go in the manner of weapons dropping, hands raising, hands raising, and everybody then immediately regretting that and grabbing for something as the air flows out. Uh, flows out, especially since your airlock. Well, luckily your own airlock is closed, so soon it will be empty. But uh, yes, you are in depressurizing zone, for me. About like how much work would it take for me to go get Malone and like pull him back towards the airlock? How much work? Um, I'm gonna say that's gonna be a strength athletics check to make it. Uh, make it in due time. It's gonna be a six. Uh, yeah, difficult six. It's not particularly difficult. You just. I would like to give him my boon compression. at this point. <laughs> he, he, you get his luck. So boon. Okay. What does that do? Because I am not trained. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you just roll the athletics check untrained. So just. Pick up the uh, athletics, roll it untrained, and the boon is automatically there. Uh, the boon is gonna make a difference. Congratulations. Uh, but it's still not enough. <laughs> boon makes a difference, but it's still like uh, oh, yeah. it's gonna be um, six minus three. So uh, no, no, three is not enough. I'm sorry, sorry, my dear. But uh, <clears throat> three, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you take a hold of him, and uh, you manage to hold him still against the air pressure, so you're going to be there until the air is pressured down. Uh, mm -hmm. The nuns, on the other hand, are clam uh, clambering for, uh, for their, their breathing apparatus, so they can, they can put, put on some, something before they suffocate, which may turn the battle as the... Uh, vacuum suddenly soon starts to boil your skins and none are known for the endurance. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Wesley, you have your uh, the air is uh, air is now out, and uh, you apparently are out of air. I'm out of air. Yeah, the, this is the not whole good. shuttle is now without air. That wasn't clever. Um, <laughs> first mission, folks. This is how TPKs happen. Yep. Next uh, person, character we were... creation. Okay, right. Uh, the Nan are going for some of their breathing apparatus, yep. but they've dropped their guns. Yeah. Right, simple solution. Is the Nan go for their gear? I will take some of that gear for myself and for my party. So you're going for their breathing apparatus, right? Or... Yeah, hey, how interoperable is Nan and human breathing apparatus? Uh, you both breathe oxygen, so that's... It's a, it's a bit that's different mixer, but good enough. So, uh, roll me a post, a, uh, a post dexterity check to see who is faster. And uh, see, see what happens. I'm not going to oppose it. I'm just going to shoot the Nana as it goes for um, its gear. Oh, if you shoot it, then that's a, that's a thing. Go for it. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to clamber around in space, look. Oh, yeah, you've got <laughs> styled. Styled, for, of course. Uh, well, the, my, my, my ion weapon is out of ammunition, unbeknownst to the Nan, so it's switching to the, uh, the other one. Yep. So... Do I get any bonuses? Am I like close or just roll it? Uh, just roll it, you'll get a boom. Okay. Well, um. Hmm. 
Yeah, the explosive decompression has uh, affected your ability to shoot because the uh, recoil of the weapon uh, pushes the weapon back more than you anticipated and uh, you lose your balance as you do that and uh, the shot goes wild. Oh no. Uh, that may for the round. That's uh, you for the round. Uh, you can use the minor action to uh, recompose yourself for the next round. Next okay. to, uh, the nuns are now acquiring their breathing apparatus, putting them on their faces. Uh, a first round for Femi without air. You have uh, you have your companion in your hands and he's now weightless. As the ship's uh, gravity drive. Oh no, wait, you're in your own ship uh, on the non rotating part. Never mind. No gravity. Okay, so it's how light. how long can we hold our breath or stand in you the back? You take 1d6 damage every round. One I think uh, you could hold your breath part of your endurance, can't you? Uh, you take the endurance in damage uh, first. So if you're out of breath, you got to hold it. Okay, hold on a second. Um, if the rules are different, I'll check them between the session, but this is the rolling we're going for now. Feel free to enlighten me with any rules that I misinterpret. <sighs> between That's sessions. Bad. If I can I look around to see if there's any of these breathing free breathing apparatus or it was just like the four and that was it. You got some. I mean we that's part of stock that we got. Huh? We all have those like psh. I loaded yep. up on a bunch of tools. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can dig for your own uh yeah, in the market. I, then I would dig for my own and put it on. <laughs> it just looks like one of those little face masks or gas mask that you put that has a clear shell that covers the whole face and just has like two okay. big canisters of here. That takes your action to put on the mask. And then you then you reacquire your hold on your unconscious companion who is taking taking more damage as time goes. Uh, as you are unconscious uh, you take one point of dexterity damage. Which means you're two points from dying. Yeah. That's, Get that's, me a mask on me. That's what they tell you in airplanes. You put your mask on first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, next is uh, uh, next is the no are the nons who have acquired the oh wait nons were before you and after you comes Wesley. Wesley remembers that he has a mask. Takes in his kit, slaps it on. That's Wesley's turn there. Yeah. Clever shooter, but he is. He goes, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, it was more important to try and stop none. Of course. That's but, yeah. but now the nuns have their masks on. They have nothing to lose. They are going to die of asphyxiation. Uh, you guys, uh, wait, you disintegrate and demoralize them. They hesitate for this round. They are just happy to <sighs> breathe, in, breathe in almost fresh air. Or oh, freshly canned air. Uh, <clears throat> Next is uh, uh, Femi. Yo, man. Femi. All right. I, I, I know it's my turn. I'm just trying to see how much my character care about Malone. <laughs> that's really? You can do me like that now, buddy? All right. I got a mission, man. I put the, I put the mask on Malone's face. <laughs> I like look at his mask and I put it on. Okay. And can gonna... I like can I use like uh, action to kind of like 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 kick us to like a different like tour away from somewhere, not yeah. just sit in the middle of somewhere. Uh, yeah. The problem is the vacuum is gonna start doing damage sooner or later. Okay. So, Got the mask on me though now, right? Still. So yeah. You, you now get air, so you're not thus suffocating to death any, any further. But, uh, the, yep. Uh, okay. Uh, that's your turn there. You kick him away and uh, with the mask. So, next is uh, Wesley. Right. So, how long do these masks last for in terms of air supply? Ten minutes. And it's uh, about 60... Uh, 100 combatants, so. 
Oh, we got time. Okay. <laughs> so they, they're going for their guns. I have my gun. And the vacuum, though, isn't going to last that long. <laughs> huh? The vacuum is going to start doing damage to you sooner than the mask is going to run out of air. Uh, okay, I will cover the Nan with my firearm and make a sort of... I'll, I'll point it at my two crewmates and point it back at them and sort of make a, a come-on motion as I sort of try and move back towards the airlock, yeah. meaning pretty clear. Yeah, come with me yeah. or be shot. Yeah. Uh, the Nans take the hint and... Uh... A follow, follow suit your instructions towards the airlock. This apparently being the only route they can take before being completely uh, <clears throat> vaporized. Yes. Um, okay. Next next step in the voyage is what will Wes, uh, as as Wesley is herding the nuns back to the ship. What will Femi do? Well, I'm gonna get. We'll go to the doors, the airlock. Yeah, you mm. you take your friend through the airlock and yeah. to safety. All yeah. right, you do that, and you get him get him to the other side, and out of harm's way. Uh, right. Any of you have medic? I do. Oh, you may, if you wish, perform first aid to him as you get inside, uh, inside uh, inside your own ship. Uh, so the uh, what do you do with the nuns who have surrendered? Uh, well, first, like, are, is everybody on like our side of the, sh- the ship? I imagine the other crew members know that something is up, and well, even if they're not engaged in combat, are willing to assist in, say, monitoring nuns. Uh. Spooky Maroon? Ah, there is two of you in the chat now. Using my emergency laptop. Okay. Uh, your computer crashed? Yeah. Okay. I can't remove you, so this is going to be a wonky, uh, wonky show for a while, because he, he can see both of you, but the... Uh, well, we call it Double Malone. Yeah. <laughs> Double Malone, but we can't see Malone at all in the... Uh, no, okay, now now it's gone, and Malone and Wesley have switched places to their private and proper locations. <laughs> now, we're, now we're post-Malone. Yes. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, so... Uh, like, stand right here. Is, is, other than me, uh, Zadora, and the constant Malone, is there anybody in the NARS? Is there anybody else in here? Um... Uh, no, this is the zero G area of the ship uh, okay. where the airlock is. So all right, uh, I will shoot all the Norns, Norns point blank range. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, uh, uh, unless Wesley does something after the first shot. Uh, nah, the Norns <laughs> are summarily nah. executed. <laughs> Look, you know, you know how Earth forces. I look to him and say, orders are orders. Now I will do first aid to, 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 to Malone. Okay. Roll me first aid check with education, please. If you have any bonuses from medicates, uh, apply them as you please. Yeah, we're the good guys, right? Of course. We're okay. always the good guys. Okay. Yeah, uh, Okay, oh, yeah, Malone, yeah. we can't hear anything you're saying. Uh, you're lagging up too much. Anyway, uh, Malone, uh, because of that amazing, amazing success in the check, you're going to get uh, five points of damage restored to you. Uh, you choose which stats, for, uh, which stats go. Uh, okay. I recommend removing that one from Dexterity. So you don't uh, get the penalties from having all three stats damaged. Instead, you'll you recommend which one? Uh, heal the dexterity and then the rest in endurance. The healing, uh, healing, 
is faster when your endurance is higher. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah, but you'll be uh, crippled for a while. Okay, so. So you bandage, bandage, bandage him up in the zero, zero G space pretty much by latching one end of the bandage on and doing the mummy thing on him. So uh, I'm just going to look to the door and say, the next part you might not want to be here for. I mean, we've already, you've already seen this, but I'll take care of the rest. Just plausible yeah. deniability. All right, um, you do you, and I will go talk to the crew. And can you? And I was like, "No, to keep my mouth shut." Yeah. I hey. will. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Look, you drag the bodies onto their ship. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. All right. I put on like a vac suit or something to keep me safe in the <laughs> vacuum of space. You have some simple uh, maintenance vacuum suits coming with the ships. They're not combat worthy, but they're enough to keep you safe from basic vacuum. And I will start putting all the non bodies back on their ship. <laughs> okay. And, and afterwards, then, I assume you complete your mission. Exactly. All right. Is there anything else on the ship of like use that, you know, I'm like, might as well get something to make it beneficial for? Well, <laughs> there is the uh, several crates, <laughs> crates of loot. Mm -hmm. Their weapons, uh, and um, there is still one body missing. I'm assuming they're dead by now. No, all right. I'll go look. Okay, there's a lot of stuff you're giving me right now. All right, put their bodies back, get my mission complete. I'll go look for the body, <laughs> the other body, just to tie up loose ends. All right. Uh, yeah, you remember um, somewhat where that one body was? It was somewhere in that direction. Mm. Let me investigate. Uh, of course, I'm not training that either. Well, <laughs> see what so would that be education, investigate, intellect? Uh, intellect. intellect. So five in total. All right. Uh, after a while, you do find a secret compartment and how to open it. As it uh, comes open, uh, there is a vacuum and a human woman in there. Dead. Do I recognize her at all? No, you don't recognize her at all. But you do recognize the insignia of the cycle on her uniform. Okay. I just I just pushed the body back in. <laughs> Shut wherever I found her. <laughs> and I'll keep that mental note. <laughs> uh how long would it take me to get all the stuff off the ship that Oh, well, it's uh, practically weightless, and these are, it's, a, it's about seven tons, so um, you'd say two, three hours. You could, of course, just go for the lighter crates and leave the bronze statues alone. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> I must, just, for like, just for like the lighter, the lighter crates. Okay, you pick up a few of the lighter crates, put them in, takes you about 15 minutes, at which point, uh, over at the ship, Ship, you hear the calling signs of this is Red Fly from Babylon 5. We registered some weapon firing. Uh, mm, is everything under control over there? Over, over the radio. Uh, as uh, over, over in the distance, your sensor officer says, Yeah, there's a five star, five, uh, star fury is coming our way. And uh, this is where we end the session. Damn it, Femi, it was going to be a simple job. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, at least everybody made it out alive. Except for those none. Yeah. Everyone human? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, they don't know about some. So yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they'll never they'll never know about that. I have a plan of what I'm doing afterwards. <laughs> Hmm. Right, are we still yeah. on stream? Yes, we are. I think. Should we do? Should we do? Should we do a post-stream impression? Is that something we want to sort of get in the habit of? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, essentially, when, uh, under normal circumstances, we'll have about uh, 30 minutes before the next stream will start. Today, we have as much time as we want because the next uh, stream isn't yet ready. So, uh, if you have any any feedback you want to give in public, feel free and uh, I'm trying to find a way to locate the Twitch stat, uh, chat to see if they're saying anything nasty about me. <laughs> hey, champion. Well, I guess I'll start, start from the left and work across. Oh, I thought it was a bloody good first session. It all went smoothly. And I, I would say my favourite part is Landis's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Close to the bone. No, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was great. I didn't kill Malone. That's all that matters. I think the big thing is that you could probably don the armor instead of like the weekly armor. <laughs> oh yeah, and those those watching, uh, please uh, please like, follow, and subscribe because uh, if you want more of this. You'll get more of this. Share, like, subscribe. Yep, you'll get more of me <laughs> making <laughs> horrible decisions. Because I'm a horrible person, unfortunately. Yeah, I thought I, th I thought it took a real tone shift, you know? It went from funny wives to executing potential allies in cold blood. <laughs> I, mean, I like it. It's a, a parabola. <laughs> I, like, I'm going to be honest with you. The... The point was was to like go in there, hold them hostage, get what we need, and then you guys go back to the ship, and then I kill them. But that just didn't happen. I love yeah. that my uh, battery pack with my battery clip I fell on the ground like oh. <laughs> Everything went badly from that oh, point. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I'm a badass. Oh, crap. Uh, excuse me, guys. Uh, just let me get that there. It's like, <laughs> and then bam, 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 bam. Uh, I'm on the ground. I feel like you need to um, invest in better armor. <laughs> yeah, that's my just. I don't know why. Oh, this is just a ship order, and I don't need to bring out the big ass armor. Okay. Yeah, well, he, he's just put on the, like the ceremonial armor that he wore, like for like paintball sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like if we go down to somewhere civilized where you're not supposed to come in with this ridiculous huge armor that looks like out of Aliens. You know, the big old boom, boom, boom. I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna go in with that. Let's just be flexible. Oh no, that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm just gonna love I, it's like what is, the hell is gonna be what is Sador and La, Landis got to say <laughs> I mean Landis knows nothing about this and oh no I know <laughs> I, 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 I'm just gonna I am gonna have Zim talk no Zim Fear talk out of his backside there about how the poor Centauri on the ship are not aware of what's going on with that we're just as much as potential hostages if I have to. Yeah. That's right. Me and Zador have a we have an understanding. <laughs> we have a plan. Look, this is a Centauri weapon. Clearly the Centauri are responsible. Exactly. <laughs> Plausible deniability. There we go. <laughs> uh, Jesus, well, this was I'm a lot of fun. Boost, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it yeah. yourselves. Uh, I had fun doing this. Uh, you guys, uh, uh, you have fun reactions. You have good ideas. I want to do this with you. Uh, the only improvement I can think of is uh, me being better able to stick to a accent. Uh, <laughs> 
the uh, particularly I was mixing up uh, different centauri with each other, but as we say, we're so sort They all of sound the same, you know, look. <laughs> they, should speak, they should speak English or just, you know. They speak, they speak Middle uh, or Western European. Yeah, I, I don't know what the Babylon 5, <laughs> the Babylon 5 uh, uh, languages is like, but... Uh, there, it's something that doesn't really come up in the show unless you're talking about Minbari. You never hear the other species speak in their own languages, except for the Bree. Uh, but that's a minor detail. Nitpicking. Okay. Um, but before we leave, I want to say uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, we got more shows coming down the pipeline. Please watch our uh, friends at Toady Par Party Chill. They also have a D and D stream on Sundays, so uh, also like and subscribe to those guys as well. All right. Uh, hey, Zimmy, you have a game starting. When does that start? Yes, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Night. tomorrow. Twenty one hundred GMT. Please watch. It hopefully won't be as dark as this one. No, it'll probably be as dark as this one because I'm, <laughs> I'm the GM. So it'll probably, That's nice. it'll probably, so <laughs> Okay, uh, thanks for watching us at Technical Difficulties Channel.